Okay, what up ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here, and today is another lovely day of slaying automatons. Okay, the war effort requires us to go and kill bots, so I'll be showcasing my automaton loadout. Um, a lot of this was tested in the morning stream, and the auto cannon seems to have outperformed for me. Of course, both the meta loadouts of the auto cannon and the arc thrower will be shown and shared in a video later tonight. Okay, so before we begin, first we gotta do our tweeting and letting everybody know. So let's go. Okay, alright, anyone is welcome to join. Oop. Okay, I want to tweet, but for some reason, ah, there we go. There we are. Hello, Teddy. Give me a second. Well, it doesn't matter if Hellmeyer is lost. Mr. Lee, what is our major order? Our major order is simple. We have to be... The siege of unmanaged democracy continues. On Let this side of the galaxy, the you see, there are 73,000 people wasting their time on this side of the galaxy, alright? Now this morning, some people, they mentioned to me, they said they don't want to be called cowards for fighting Terminids, and I said, listen, we have a major order. Now, if you're new to the game and you want to build up your resources and everything, by all means, fight the Terminus. But if you are a level 50 Skull Admiral, and you are not participating in the Major Order on this side of the galaxy, alright, if you're not joining the 62,000 heroes of Super Earth on the Automaton front, on the Western front, if you are wasting your time here with the other 73,000 cowards, then you are trait okay remember we are heroes who are required to fight where super earth tells us disobeying orders is treason so remember to be a hero and join me and the rest of the roughnecks on the automaton front yes teddy you may join me today come on in buddy so do you want to be like the 38,000 traitors and cowards huh or do you want to be like the 62,000 heroes of the Federation. <laughs> Choose wisely. Now, all jokes like aside, play whatever you want, do whatever you want, all right? If people genuinely get offended by me calling them cowards, then okay, you're more of a snowflake than I thought. Like, get over it, okay? We're all role-playing soldiers here. But back to the immersion. If you wanna be a C-O-W-A-R-D who's afraid of enemies shooting them back, then go ahead. Fight bugs. Fight harmless little fuel suppliers. Alright, that's what they are. Harmless little bits and pieces of fuel that can't even shoot back at us. But these things, these things are monsters that'll kill you. They'll fight you and they'll shoot back at you. Prove that you are ready to face the automaton front. The roughnecks are waiting and I'll see you on the field. Hey, ask that guy, what's up? 
Alright, uh, we're just gonna wait for Teddy to hop in. Um, Ted, you gonna come into voice? Once he's in voice, we'll finish up the Elder, operations on Usto 2, and we're going to Galaxy's try and take the planet. Uh, realistically, we should have had the planet um, yesterday, but... Or earlier today, but uh, I, I know that most people don't actually enjoy fighting the bots, so I'm hoping that through these streams I can show you guys the techniques to counter the automatons and like I won't be doing hell dives today obviously because a lot of my crew is also not fully experienced with automatons yet but the automatons are not that different from terminates there there are ways to fight them there are ways to counter them and you just need to understand what units do what if you understand the enemy you will always be able to conquer the enemy and of course um even doing difficulty 7, which if you speedrun gives 6 squad impact, especially during times when there aren't a lot of people, um, it, it's fairly easy to to defeat the automatons. And, and right now, a lot of people are using the, the defense of Hellmire as an excuse not to participate, but Hellmire is a lost cause. It's not even a part of this war, okay? The Terminates have to fight back. You gotta understand, all this war has a push and a pull, all right? Our enemies are going to push back and otherwise there's no storyline if they own none of the territory then what storyline do you have do you want to have are we gonna be going to their like home planet and just murdering civilians like that's not very war heroic of us right primarily our focus should be on you know let let the terminates recover their territories and we will you know fight the automatons for a bit you know chase them out of the sector and then we can we can come back and have more storylines so just remember to try if you are end game level do participate in the war effort and you'll probably have a lot more fun okay teddy's here good hey man what's going on robot how's the hey, weather hey. over there weather is perfectly fine it's a nice lovely evening okay since we're ready we shall begin the operation the bots okay the what kind of loadout will you be running uh, I'm running the Scorcher. Um, what uh, what are we doing? What's going on? Okay, so we we just have, have to speed run it. as per normal. Um, okay. In general, I'll be running the auto cannon. If you want to run arc thrower, you can. It's up to you because I don't know what loadout you use on the bots. Currently, the best loadouts is to have one auto cannon person, one arc thrower person. The arc thrower person will right. usually use a personal shield generator. Then you'll have an eagle airstrike for dealing with fabricators, most targets like that. The last slot is flexible. You can like bring whatever you want. But I'll show you. But the for the auto cannon, it's a bit different. Auto cannon guy will usually bring the portable shield generator relay. We put this down every 90 seconds. Auto cannon, eagle Orbit. airstrike, for fabricators. Last one is a flexible slot, but I usually have an auto cannon sentry. So this is the general style for auto cannon guy. Also, wrong armor. Gotta shift back to engineering armor. 10-4, I'll run the arc. Yep, okay. So, arc will be playing mostly as uh, frontline. So, your main role is go draw enemy fire, kill most things, and I'll be sniping behind you. Okay. And I've got the senator. I'm going to be trying out the senator. Has left squadron. Looks like uh, Brandon's getting the arc as well. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, for me, I, I don't mind however many arc thrower players we have. Just as, as long as there's one auto cannon sniper at least. Because the auto cannon sniper is like absolutely crucial. It takes out everything. Hey, Rena. <laughs> EU bots. What do you mean, EU bots, man? Come on. That's a good training tip right there. I know, right? Don't die. You help some cadets, John Magix. Then you did some hell dive on bots and bug planets. All right. Now get your ass over to the bot planets. We don't need to kill bugs. Bugs are worthless. Let them repopulate. Okay, drop right on a hell Devastator. Scout Strider's done. Every day is a Sorry. good day to die for democracy. Aww. I couldn't hit its head fast enough. Oh, it's alright, buddy. No, that's okay. Just call me, call in reinforcement. Could you kill the Rocket Devastator? I can. Um, for the Rocket Devastator, just shoot in the head. Objective 
Alright. Yeah, you shouldn't use any grenades on a rocket devastator. This is why the sickle is the most important uh, weapon against automatons. You can use what you want, but make sure that you always uh, hit the head with the automatons. Okay. Alright, arcs out, yields up, we're good. Yep, get the objective done. There'll be 100% extra call in time for this, but yeah. Thank you, thank you, you Axe the guy. A Here's a salute for you. Do you wanna say thanks? Hopefully I'll be able to showcase some good techniques here. Um, the arc is just good for frontlining because in general, right, the arc takes care of the small stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate a little better, but there's an automaton control over there. So usually, auto cannon is the best overall. But you gotta have somebody to draw fire as well. Okay, oh, it is unfortunate, this but they already called it in. This thing just rips through them. Who brought the mortar? <laughs> Alright, let's hope that doesn't team frag. But anyway. And if it's you, Teddy, you better confess. It is not Teddy. Okay, good. Teddy would never. Mm. This arc thrower is awesome. Yep. The arc thrower is very good for most things. The only thing you'll struggle with is hulks, but please tag them. Because it'll be my job to snipe the hulks almost immediately. That's it. What I love is the auto cannon tower. It's beautiful. Oh, axe the guy. Welcome to being a cool bot. Thank you. Robot, do you have on experimental armor? Uh, no. You have to be okay. careful. Right. Like, for automatons, you yeah, have to yeah. be careful of the teammates. It ain't terminated, yep. unfortunately. But thankfully, most of them can be engaged at a distance, so no need to sweat too much. So, as you can see, guys, the auto cannon turret provides a lot of cover, just takes out the bots with the bot drop, then I don't even sweat any anymore. Okay, we're going to the next objective, and we will loot along the way, so Teddy, just accompany me, and we'll leave the randos to do whatever they normally do. Um... Tim, you, got a new member you want me to jump in front of you with you? this arc thrower? Yeah, pretty much. You should welcome so, home. normally the playstyle would be the arc player will usually go ahead, so you'll be first. And if you see anything like a Hulk or a Devastator, you tag it, and then I will start sniping it immediately. Whereas, for me, my main role will be take out Devastators, Hulks, things like that, while you zap all the little ones, because the arc thrower is excellent for that. It'll also shred through most things, because it completely ignores armor. Just remember that the maximum range is 50 meters. So we'll only deviate when there's a question mark. So there's a question mark here. We'll just deviate slightly to the right. And they won't ever let the war end, Lee. No, it doesn't really work that way. Ooh, uh, look, this guy up here. If they're behind that right, usually I'll use a sickle because the arc thrower will arc to the gun. The arc thrower's main weakness is just that it, it doesn't uh, really... Ooh. Ow, spicy rocket. Yeah, you want to be careful with rocket devastators. You can't really just uh, stand there and take it on board. Hey, hello. I just barely almost got that arc off. Yeah, you won't be able to arc most of these guys. That's why for the arc thrower, right, what you learn is that as a front line, you're mostly distracting them rather than actually shooting the devastators. You will shoot them, but uh, you'll tend to want to move around or even use a sickle when it's up close and personal, when it's too close. There. Yeah, automatons, there's a lot to learn because it's a very different style. This is why the impact grenade is also so useful. If they're in your face, just blast them quickly and that's usually good enough. Alright, we've got two auto cannoners, two arc throwers. Things are looking good. Now, all of this is actually going to be covered. For those of you that don't know about this, all of this will be covered in a video later tonight. I'll be explaining how to do the loadouts and you can choose your role accordingly. Laser pistol is the best? Sure, Daza. You know, you use that laser pistol. Do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow uh, we do some great. hell dives, okay? And, and we go, we go test, we go test your little laser pistol. Alright, if your laser pistol isn't better than my laser pistol, hint, hint, then, uh, I will be very angry. <laughs> Alright, calling in resupply. I'm gonna go jump up on this rock. In, yeah, just make sure that as soon as the bot drop comes in, that you're ready to get in position and start blasting this guy it brings turns out, out the mortar, huh? Turns out I could not get on that rock. Calling down fortification. Okay. I'm on the terminal. Calling down a sentry. 
Gonna call in the auto cannon sentry. Here it comes. Ooh. Oof. That yeah, mortar decided to irritate the tower. Oh my god, this is why I don't bring a freaking mortar. You better hope that thing destroys it. Can you take out shield. the tower with an airdrop? No. You can only take out the tower by hitting the back. You can do it with a rail cannon, but uh, a little bit harder to do. Yeah. So the tower is not... This is why I don't bring a lot of mortars, because they basically just cause trouble. Yeah, that, uh, that tower shot hurts. Okay, I get rid of the tank. The tower shot's an insta-give. So this is why, like, normally the what will happen is that the autocannon guy will actually go in. Yep, there goes the mortar. This is why I don't piss off the tower. Damn it. Very, very silly newbie maneuver there. Don't bring stuff that'll piss off a tower. Just make sure that somebody handles it. Is that a EAT? You can use the EAT to blow up the tower, but... Uh, somebody's gonna have to take the risk. And I'm certainly not going to, so that's a them problem. I know roughly where the tower is. Yeah, anybody anybody using a mortar is basically, you know, I, I hate to really say it, but anyone bringing a mortar on these on automaton missions, they mow on. Oh, oh my come god, on. that can. It's just brutal. Yep, and that's why nobody ever brings along that kind of stuff. Ooh. Yeah, you get no warning, you just get faced. Yes, hence the issue. Uh, uh, should I go over there and try and take it out? Uh, hold on, hold on. We can't, we can't be wasting resources here. It's in, it's along the way. So okay, here's what we have to do: gather your stuff, and then we'll have to act because, like, look. All these things are now pissed off at us, and... Oh, Teddy, Teddy, don't get in my way. Because I'm sniping a Devastator. Whoa. Yeah, Reloading. stay away from me. Because if that, if that hits your shield... I have that shield yeah. on. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's tracked on me. Somebody's going to have to get past it, so all of us are going to have to run up and dodge shots. Get ready to okay. dodge shots, basically. Okay, it's tracking somebody else, Jump. which means I can get around it. Jump, dodge, duck, dodge, duck. But yeah, if anyone brings a mortar, I am literally going to kill them. It's uh okay. Is, All right. is the capital I'm on the tower. All right. So behind the back of the tower, you can actually blow up the vent with an impact grenade or with an auto cannon. Pretty simple okay. and easy. Yeah. Normally, the auto cannon guy should take this out at a distance when the vent is facing to away from me. Don't piss it off uh. with the mortar. So this is for chat. I don't care about these guys here. All right. I operate on a two strikes rule. I see, a, I see a Mortar next round, that guy's getting a kick. But EMS Mortar is fine because it doesn't piss off most things, but still don't bring it along. It's useless. You do not need it. I'm going to tell you straight up against bots, you do not need it. You will never ever need it because, yeah, the uh, EMS is not necessary, especially if you're playing efficiently. Alright, uh, are you guys fighting that base? Uh, we were, it's done. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't have to because uh, there's no need to take out any outposts. Just remember guys, there's no need to take out any outposts, any of this stuff. If you want to contribute liberation to the war effort, you can ignore outposts and whatnot. Um, there'll be another video about that tomorrow because we did a little bit of proof after some information came to us. XP no longer matters. Um, it, all that matters is the difficulty of the mission you're doing and the impact multiplier at the time of the mission. So don't sweat too much if you didn't take out like every single thing along the way. You'll actually be all right. Yeah, EMS can be situation. It's it's okay-ish. All right, what we have to do though is we must take out that. That is uh, the AA turrets. The AA turrets um, will effectively uh, constantly just like stop us from calling in eagles, which is a relatively crucial stratagem. Fun fact is though that you can actually take out the AA at distance like this as long as you can target the vents. Once again, nice. Yep. So you, ooh, careful those rocket devastators. Yeah, they are tough. You fought automatons before, right? Just, just checking. Yeah, just once or twice. Once or twice. Okay, so this guy's fresh. Um, yeah, you. As, anytime <laughs> you see a rocket man. devastator, you will, a, you will need to. I'm a veteran uh, on this planet. Just quickly tell me if there's a rocket devastator. Tag it, and then I'll deal with it usually. But otherwise, if you think you can deal with it yourself, go for it. Just be a bit cautious. I'm gonna get rid of that AA from here. Okay, AA emplacement is clear. 
now. Very nice. A couple devastators up here. I'm taking care of them. Okay. You need three arc throw bolts to kill any devastator. So whether it's a uh, rocket, heavy, whichever, salt will be fine. Um, or one mag on the scorcher. Yep, one mag on the scorcher. But again, you know, it's if you want to spend that ammo. You don't have to, but up to you. Um, I leave the decision in the field to you. Okay, I'm gonna help these guys prepare because, well, down a bot drops coming in. Calling down supplies. So when you're ready, you can come back and join us. To focus the aim for the auto cannon, or do you just stop moving? You should always stop moving and crouch with the auto cannon. You should never be like. Uh, Rare sample acquired. You should never just let the aim go because you, in this game anyway, you should not be moving and shooting. Moving and shooting is pretty bad. Okay, here comes the bot drop. So what I'll usually do is that during this this later stage, um, I will wait. I'll see where the bot drop is. So like for example, if this is the bot drop here, I'll throw in an eagle and start blasting. Now you see that? Okay. Double up on him. I'll usually throw a shield gen somewhere that I can get a clean shot. And that's when we'll have some fun. Not quite sure why that Hulk's not... Ooh. Okay, and when your own shield generator comes out, please remember to not shoot it because it will... You need to be inside it to shoot out from it. So I'll usually take out Hulk's like this. There we go. Headshot to nice. the face, Hulk's out. So once the shield generator goes down and no longer offers cover, that's okay. Go in, take out most of the targets. There's a devastator somewhere. Nope, nope, it's just a rocket guy. No, I'm pretty sure that is a devastator. Because my sickle shots are bouncing off, but that's alright. There's also a patrol over there. Um, Ustatu is a hot planet, so you're gonna run out of uh, juice for your electrical stuff. Uh, sorry, for your laser stuff pretty fast. Now, against a heavy devastator, you want to open up the shield with a quick shot from your auto cannon. Also, remember to reload frequently. Don't be like me. All right, if you don't reload frequently, then this is what will happen. You You're right. It was a devastator. Yep, they're all gone. I heard the metal clink, so they're dead now. Ooh, behind us. All right. Ooh, be ready to dodge rockets. Not too hard to dodge, just uh, once you once you get used to it, just dodge them and you'll be alright. Okay, I'm sure there's some supplies around here. Yeah, I'm on my last mag. Yep, I didn't double dip, so there should be more. It's over on the ground over there. Teddy, don't get to grab yours. Grab some samples, thank you. There's uh, one more, if anybody needs it. Oh, they can't hear me, never mind. <laughs> they don't need to hear you. Nah. They only need to obey. Okay, that's a lovely bot drop on a mountain. Uh, that's cool. Got an eagle. eagle up there. Sending in the beagle. And it missed. Oh, well, there we go. That worked. That worked. Yep. I'll just toss him an auto cannon sentry and... Uh, look at those poor they automatons. They can't do that. anything. Look ah! at that, dude. That's crazy. What a bunch of nerds. They can't hit us from over there. Okay, go auto cannon. Delete him. That is hilarious. They dropped him on the. Yeah, they literally can't do anything up there. Look, look, look. all they can do is take it. That's adorable. <laughs> They're doomed. Bye. 100% uh, call in time on this one, Axe Guy. So, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, it'll take about four right. minutes for extraction. So, let's go. No personal order today? There is a personal order, I'm just not doing it. But yeah. Is it still a minefield? Uh, I think it is. That's Well, the minefield oh, won't go fuck. away until somebody completes it, but I'm not completing it, so screw that. I don't know what today's personal it, order is. That's the cruelest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Kill enemies with a minefield. Like, I, don't, right. I don't think they'll have human enemies, Chanel. I believe there is one enemy faction that's coming soon that's another type of alien. Well, that's going to be pretty cool, by the way. How you doing today, Chanel? Okay, there you go. Zip zap zoom, mission is done. 
Uh, would have been a bit shorter if not for that cannon turret, but oh well, that's what happens sometimes. That will happen. Yes, especially because a lot of people are still oh, new to the target. automaton frontier. They don't know everything yet. So there's there's oh, means and ways to do this, but once you get good, it's a really fast and easy type of experience. You just need to know what does what, you know, how stuff, how certain stuff works. I'm going to go loot that thing. You guys do your job over here, and I'll be right back. Because I see a yellow glowing thing. There's no way I'm not looting it. Actually, wait, I better call down an auto cannon before I go looting. I can uh, provide some cover fire if you need it. Oh no, you guys, you will be needed here to defend these guys because uh, they seem pretty new. Four. Okay, damn. That is a devastator. A normal devastator, but still. Okay, it's clear. Spicy rockets. Okay. Might be a little too hot for me to go out. Yeah, I can try and clear the way a little bit. Nah, it should be alright. I'll just stick with these guys because, in case. Oh god! Sweet liberty, my leg! Yep. You gotta learn to dodge constantly against automatons. So I'm, I'm usually like always in motion against the automatons, except when I need to fire and shoot. This is also why it's so important to tag because on this planet, uh, sometimes it's hard to see the target. Okay, a bot drop will be coming in, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure we have some cover. So there's a spicy rocket boy. That is a bruiser hawk. Ooh, got killed by a spicy rocket. All right, call yeah, me back in. I got you. I got you. Yep. Ah, crap. The cannon is done too. All right, two minutes. We got this. No, no, it's easy. Oh, we obviously will have it, but yeah. Spicy rockets. Watch out for them. That's a heavy devastator over there. Uh oh. What is that eagle airstrike? Okay. Well, time to handle this. Ooh. Man, it is tough to kill the Devastators with the Arc Thrower before they kill you. That's why the Arc Thrower, the Arc Thrower is good, but it's used mostly as a frontline type thing. You gotta be Battle consistently control. good. That's why if you're not comfortable with it, right, it's okay. You can run auto cannon as well, like me, just that you won't have any shield. So it depends on how comfortable you are with various weapons that you choose. Ooh, damn it! Sorry, I had an empty mag. There's a rocket devastator over there. Just call me in on my corpse so I can get my stuff back. Yeah, you're gonna be right behind it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the biggest thing for the autocannon is please make sure you always load it up. I always forget. Oh boy, here comes okay. two devastators. Yep, yep, yep. See, a lot of people, they start getting scared and start trying to throw stratagems on them. Don't bother. They'll be dead. They'll just, they'll just be dead with an auto cannon. So I don't bother. Like, you don't have to hell bomb them or anything like that. You just learn how to shoot them, and they won't be a threat. So stratagems should be saved for actual bot drops. You know, that's when we do it. Okay. Now, professionals crawl in the pelican, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Unprofessional people will walk in. Professionals crawl in the hell. And halfway in between is dive again. No, no, no. Only uncool kids do that. You must crawl in like a professional. 
Actually, the Sickle will do it just the same. The Sickle and the Liberator have roughly the same damage and same armor penetration, so... Yeah, you're right. Assuming it hits the head, though. Assuming it hits the head. That's the thing. The Arc Thrower can actually down a Devastator in one, but because I'm very experienced with the Arc, normally when I'm using it, I will use it... Um, I will already know where the Devastator is, and it will already take like three shots before it even turns to aim at me. So, yeah. Um, there's a way to play with the Arc. Tomorrow, I'll probably showcase the Arc Technique, because tonight I'm showcasing the Auto Cannon Technique. But the Arc Technique, once you once you get it, it's so easy. You can even strafe walk away from Rocket Devastators. As long as you've got a certain distance, their rockets will never hit you while you're charging up the Arc, as long as you're just strafing, strafing around them. It's so easy. Like, I actually showcased a bit of that this morning, but again... Um, it's not a knife for the Arc, otherwise I would demonstrate. Okay. By the way, these right. guys all seem very new. Good game, buddy. I gotta head to work. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch you. We'll catch you in the morning, though. I'll be okay. on tonight. Well, just make sure you, you study the techniques before you're coming on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. See you later, you, Teddy. Squadron. See you, buddy. Bye. Successfully a, a strike with ten common samples. I see. Allied destroyer has oh, I was going to tell him a good round, but oh well. That's okay. Alright. Now, if any other people want to join me, uh, channel members, you guys know the drill. Otherwise, we'll just carry on. The time Operation to kill complete. can seem long, but honest to God, it's really not that bad. Like, once you, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good. But, yes, I do understand that some people may also find the time to kill a bit long. Um, like I said, for me... I have never really sweated it because I like for me I'm an arc thrower main so I understand it inside out um, but I can also understand for a lot of other people how they may feel about it so yeah okay now you guys ready time to uh, showcase my special technique Mission coordinates I wait till at least one other person joins but this is gonna be funny Thrusters. Now, I'll wait for the uh, randoms to start coming in, but what I like to do is when it's, uh... Hellmire's defense, ignore it, Moloch. We're supposed to be fighting bots. Orbit. Let let the terminates take over Hellmire and the rest, alright? Because, as per the dispatch, please take note. The last of the crude solid E710 has been collected, processed, and shipped off planet. The terminates... The planets can now be left behind to allow the terminates to repopulate under careful supervision. Anyone who is wasting time on the Terminate Frontier, please, we don't need you there. Come to the Western Front, fight the bots. If you're wasting time on Terminates and you're a level 50 Skull Admiral, I will say what I said at the start of the stream, alright. Why, you afraid of something shooting at you? You don't want to be branded as C-O-W-A-R-D, do you? Come on. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Everyone should be fighting bots Engaging right now. Orbital thrusters. Unless, of course, you're a coward. Always follow. Always follow the orders of Super Earth. Thank you, Chanel, for that lovely sticker. Salute to you, my friend. You're Allied amazing. Destroyer has joined squadron. Okay. Now I'm gonna teach you how to complete this mission in five minutes. Where's Arcane? Not here. Needs to get in. All right. Get into my voice channel. I'll invite you after this mission. Prepare your butt cheeks. Clench them hard, Nice. Clench them hard. Okay. So for the command bunker mission, super easy. What you do is you drop directly on the bunker and you throw a 500 kilogram bomb on it and then you run like hell. What about here? <laughs> Mactastic, what up, man? Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat, hell divers to hell pods. Now, look at y'all. Look, see, see, night crew usually doesn't have a lot of people, so look at me. I'm stuck with three randos. Come on, man! Where the night crew? Where's the dedication? I need the night crew here. Alright. Last guy's walking up. <laughs> Lol. 
allied destroyer has left squadron. Oh my god, this guy freaking de delayed us for so long. Alright, let's go. You think you're ready for this level, Chanel? Because I know you're relatively new to Helldivers. If you think you're ready, you're always welcome to try. But if you waste my reinforcements, I'll shoot you myself. <laughs> That's okay, Silrana. You go ahead and work away. Oh yeah. Um, well, it is D and D style, but in general, right? For if everyone focuses on major order, number one, it helps liberation faster, and also it gives them more prep for storyline acts. That guy. So usually I would prefer if everybody focused on the major order because that way you see like if the terminates real talk if the terminates take over more territory then they can have another storyline for the terminates if the terminates don't own any territory there's no storyline right now they're forced to have a bot storyline but imagine if you wipe out all the bot territories then there's nothing left to make a story with you know That's why, that's why they already said in the dispatch, let the bugs repopulate. Then we can have another major storyline. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't pile up my hell pod, but whatever, I don't care. Just blast the command bunker. What are they doing? Come on, guys. Just eagle the command bunker. I don't care. There we go. This is why if you guys don't know how to do this one, just bring 500 kilogram bombs and blast and go. That's it. That's all it takes. Once you get it done, just go, go, go. Yeah, the hell pods still aren't quite right yet, unfortunately. They're still pretty buggy. Proceed to extraction when ready. Found something. Requesting advanced weaponry. Deploying support weapon. Now, what do you do when you're being chased? You call down a shield. This is also a great thing. The shield generator will distract them. So let the shield generator distract them and go. Shoot and scoot is indeed the right thing to say. Because that's what we do. Two quick 500 kilogram bombs and that thing bunker is usually done. Oh, this is a stratagem jammer, isn't there? The auto cannon sentry is stronger, yes, but it cannot exactly avoid fire, so kinda you gotta understand that it's not a be all and end all. Now not quite sure what these guys are doing, but I'm gonna go take care of the stratagem jammer and then get out of here. 
Orbital laser is indeed a good choice, uh, but for the command bunker mission, I usually bring along 500 kilogram just to destroy the bunker. Once it's done, you can just go. More or less. There you go. Easy breezy. Requesting air support. Here comes the cavalry. Darn, I missed. Angle is so bad. Tagging location. That was unfortunate. Reloading. Now that one was my bad. I usually get the angles pretty good for the fabricators, but eh. Sending in an eagle. Democracy's on its way. Surprise. There we go. Northwest, 100 meters, sending in an eagle. Get out of my way, bot. Calling in extraction. Tagging map, south, 100 meters. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle Calling inbound. down fortification. Okay. Sure, does it? Uh. Reinforcing. I'll try and throw him your stuff. Okay, that's a rocket devastator. Okay, that was a good shot on the tank. I really respect that. Okay, A4 made it. Does Mr. PT need help? Okay, come on, buddy. All right, let's go. Pelican One preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. The sentry barrel and the, not just the ammo, the sentry's barrel and the gun is way better anyway. That is kind of true. Upgrading anything on this setup? Nah, not till I'm back in Singapore, Daza. Next year, I'll be upgrading the main PC so I can start streaming in 4K. See you later, Axe That Guy. You have a good one. 
4K monitors, just choose one that's comfortable for your view range. The only thing that matters is the resolution on the monitor, that's it. You don't you don't want to have one that's too big. I I find I find it just needs to be enough for my vision. That's it. Because I also have a microphone and it gets in the way of my screen if it's too big. So I like one with nice focused vision but high resolution, that's all. No, I know you're talking about the armor penetration. The barrel is bigger, more armor penetration because there's more force when you're launching out the launching out the shells effectively. And of course the ammo type I'm pretty sure the autocannon sentry has a much larger caliber than we had, than we're carrying around. No friendly fire incidents. Well done. Yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think they will be giving us that aboard, BT Helldiver. fight. I look forward to serving with you. Breast pi best primary? Uh, you don't have the premium pass, the then liberation. the best you can choose is probably either a liberator or a breaker from the normal warbond, but what you will probably want is the just make sure you quickly get the uh, cutting edge warbond. If you don't have the premium passes, just go farm the super credits. It's very, pretty fast to do. Either that or just buy them. They're very cheap. It's only ten dollars. Um, it's really not expensive. So all you got to do is just grab some of that, and you're good to go. Make sure you get the cutting edge warbond. It is pretty important. Okay. How to open in the premium pass? Just go to your acquisitions and go unlock it. You just need a thousand super credits. Press R, acquisitions. It's in the war bond page. That's not the. That's the super store. Wrong place, Mr. Lee. Did you watch my video on it? Because I have a video showing you how to unlock all the premium stuff in the game. Watch my video. It shows you how to get weapons, how to progress in the game. Yeah. All of you guys should watch all my newbie videos. Make sure you've watched them at least a thousand times, okay? I'm counting on you guys. You should know everything before you come here. Anyway, all of this stuff, I've already made videos on it. You can just you can just go check. Yeah, you should watch everything on my channel, guys. Come on. Come on. No no good content creator won't like won't have this stuff on their channel. You'd have to be like the world's worst content creator if you don't have any of this stuff. Good content creators always have everything their viewers need. What a lovely drop. This is why I love it. There we go. Calling in yeah, we're talking. I love hot drops. Hot drops are fun. Okay. Dropping a pin. North, 200 meters. Now, remember, auto cannon. you see that kind of stuff? Well, good. If you watch me since Darktide, then you should know. I always have a video for everything. Everything, my friend. Everything. There will be nothing that I don't have a video for. Oh, this is just a radar station. I'm gonna ignore that. Normally, I wouldn't, but this one is one of those where I must get things done fast. Okay, going in. Everyone wishes Dark Tide was Hell Divers, but unfortunately, it won't be. But you know, there's still some Dark Tide believers who are all like, "Oh, Dark Tide doesn't need to be Hell Divers." I'm like, "Yeah, sure. I mean, whatever, man." 2,000 players versus uh, 200,000 players. It's not really much of a contest, is it? So, quite frankly. I hope they learn a good lesson, and I hope they uh, take the time that they need to get right. Hey, wish this destroyer. I hope that in future, though, that they will, that they will actually like uh, get their shit together and become as good as hell divers, because it's clear that everybody wants this. But yeah, um, after this, Lee, if you're still here, I will show you. I will actually go and show you the video on how to unlock. Uh, sorry, I'll actually go and show you the stuff on how to unlock the premium. 
I can't show it from when I'm in the mission, but when I'm outside of a mission, it's easy enough. It's literally just one press A button. Just press R and you go. Go to the acquisition page. Okay, this Blitz mission is done. Okay, Mr. A4 has the radar. Okay, these guys got the hang of it. I like it. 40k skin mod, low. I don't want a mod, I want it to be official. I want them to officially... Shit, where did that? Crap, I don't have a choice. I have to call him in here. I don't want to be a mod because as a creator, I usually cannot. Uh, I usually don't apply mods because it can reduce the number of jobs that you get from devs. Because a lot of devs tend to prefer it if you showcase things, you know, as intended. Shame. Could have looted extra, but oh well. If only there wasn't another cannon turret over there. Still, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure we'd all pay for that, you know? They should just they should just collab and sell the skins in game. We'd all we'd all buy it in. I reckon everybody pretty much would buy it in. Cause it's good stuff. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. The Death Corpse Krieg armor would be so cool. I already paid for that in Dark Tide. I'm not paying for that again here. But I wouldn't mind Tempest the Scion. Hey JG. Yeah, that would be a good microtransaction. This game is so light on microtransactions, I think their store should have more. You know? Well, until they buff your AMR, I don't think you'll ever get to be a true sniper. Good evening from Australia. They'll, they should definitely just collab and sell skins. Arrowhead has more than earned the right to monetize. Compared to a lot of other games out there that have not yet even earned the right to monetize, you know, and yet they'll charge you for everything, I think that this game uh, has definitely earned that right. What armor passive am I using? Engineer set. It's one of the first ones that you get in your normal war bond. Hey, Bear Paws. Now, for those of you that don't know how to get premium war bonds, because I had that question in chat, just go to acquisitions. The first thing it says war bonds, right? You scroll down. That's it. All right, it's one press of a button. Just buy them with super credits. Remember, it's a thousand super credits per war bond, and they don't disappear. These are not battle passes. It's different. It's literally, um, you can just pick them up as you go. So, yeah. Engineer armor is one of the best to run uh, against the bots because extra grenade, so more impact grenades, and on top of that, reduce recoil when firing. So it's good. It's good stuff. Okay, we're going to drop directly on the base as per normal. Uh, for this one, I always bring orbitals like that, auto cannon, and my shield generator. I mean, I do love the auto cannon sentry as well, but the orbital laser just does so much. Well, this guy likes the spear, huh? Interesting fella. Stun nades? We never use them. No need. Impact nades are much more useful for me because I like to blow up certain things. <laughs> Don Magix.
The autocannon is a very good weapon against the bots. One of the best. Now, I hope these guys know what to do, because I'm going to land on a ship. Good. Reinforces. That's what I like to see. Good. There we are. Now we're talking. Let's get spicy. I'm gonna use the help box to cover. Ooh, that's what I like. Ooh, damn. Laser should be fine. Reinforcing. There he goes. There he goes. Finally. Now where's that tank? Oh, the tank's dead. Requesting advanced weaponry. Dropping a pin. Northwest. Far. Oops, sorry. Calling in reinforcements. That one was a genuine mistake. Good choice, not a great choice, but good choice. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I like that uh, they rotate their stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, that I'm okay with. Like I said, they've got some decent armor sets in the game already. I'm satisfied with what they do have. But I would like to see some nice collab skins for sure. Um, the Peacekeeper and the Redeemer are exactly the same to be honest. The Peacekeeper should actually have higher damage because nobody's going to use the Peacekeeper. Just so you know, the armor penetration and the um, damage values are exactly the same between the Peacekeeper and the Redeemer. They are exactly the same weapon, just that the Redeemer has double the ammo capacity. So if you set your Redeemer to semi-auto, it'll function just... It'll function exactly like the, uh... Oh. This is the Seaf site. I got very confused as to what was over here. Engaging terminal. Requesting air support. Yeah, I was I was legitimately confused. I was like, this does not look like the uh, area. Yeah, definitely. 
I'd say the peace, the peacemaker or whatever, should have something that makes it different. But yeah, definitely, definitely. I 100% I agree. I do not disagree with that s sentiment. It makes sense to me. There's one Devastator over there, where is he? There he goes. Why don't you try and spicy rocket me? Oh, damn. Well, that isn't very good. Let me get some fortifications going. Okay, hopefully I managed to get him straight on his stuff. Supplies. I was trying to call that in for him. Point me to the enemy. Get your stuff? Okay, you got his stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go east. Yeah, okay, good. He checked it. I was hoping he would, because if we reinforce him over here, it's not very worth it for Mr. P2. Yep. You really like the spear? Hey, listen, if it works for you, then good. I'm not much of a spear fan, but... You should always use what you feel most effective with. I try to ensure that I do that. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Okay. Dropping a pin. Southeast, 300 meters. I'll go help them out there if I can. Warning, always try and help your team uh, against the uh, enemy artillery. Bot drop detected. That ain't very good. That's not very cash money. Uh, my orbital lasers on cooldown. Dang. See, this is why I love the auto cannon. So good. They all fall down dead. Rockets over there. Mission at thirty minutes remaining. Calling down fortification. Reloading.
Nice. I'll go get them super samples. Oh, they already have them. Ah, they have supplies over there. Nice. Dropping a pin. North, 200 meters. The auto cannon is one of the best against the automatons. Very good. Jayaka, well, uh, I'm sorry, but this is not a place for reporting names and stuff like that. So I'm just going to remove that because uh, I cannot allow my channel to have that kind of stuff. If you have found a cheater, please report him officially to Arrowhead. Do not come to my channel and type in their name or whatever. I know you're probably just trying to do that to alert the community. But the thing is, naming and shaming is not something we want to start here. So please understand that this is not a cha official channel or anything for that. So please do not do that. Yeah, if you like the spear, go for it. If you don't, that's a okay. ooh. Damn. Yeah, that's okay. Wasn't expecting that to happen. But I kind of understand. I'm gonna call in a new auto cannon. I'm gonna go around. Of course, it's silly to ruin the game. You know, I fully agree with you, but just that my channel is not a place for that. So please understand and please remember you're not supposed to do any of that stuff here. If you need to report somebody, please report them directly to Arrowhead. That is exactly what death is. Free refill. Ooh. Okay, good. There we are my eagles. Shutting it in. Arming. I'm on the terminal. Okay. I love their use of spears to destroy things from afar. That's always very cool. Like that guy completely taking that out, I agree. Like spears are cool. I may not be a fan myself, but I can respect a good user. Well, um, you can't actually say that, Suicool, because YouTube gets sensitive when you bring in a race, so I have to remove that message. But I will say one thing is that while we cannot generalize people in that way, all right, I'm aware of the stereotype and I'm aware that this is technically factual information, but we cannot generalize people like that, okay? This is an international community, and I'm Chinese myself, so... Uh, please be cautious about the things you say. Don't forget, this is YouTube. We have to police our language here. All right? This is a YouTube policy, not my personal policy. But irrespective of that, we should never attempt to make a judgment like that. All right? 
But yes, I am aware, unfortunately, of the truth of that matter. Autocan is great, Derek. One of the best weapons against automatons, if you know how to use it. I don't need to use a scope view. You see where that gray circle is? That tells me where I'm shooting, so it's good enough. The only time I'll need to use a scope view is if I really want to take out, um, say, a Devastator or whatever. But, I mean, it's really your choice what you want to do with it. Um, you can you can use it in any way, shape, and form you like. I just prefer the uh, unscoped, because it basically aims for the head anyway. Thanks for understanding, sweet cool. Um, I'm Mandarin Chinese. More specifically, I'm high Nanese. But please do not expect me to speak high Nanese. I don't even speak basic Mandarin. How to use the auto cannon? Watch the streams. Because as you watch the stream, you'll learn. It's not something I can explain in just five minutes. Basically, you are a sniper. So I aim for targets, and I take cover. If I see that I can't hit a target, this is where I use my shield gen. So, reload first. Take it slow, play it cool. Once you have good cover or a good angle, you can shoot them. Alright? This is why with more than one auto cannon, if somebody is distracted, somebody else can uh, bring something in. But the auto cannon is in general something where you need to crouch, aim, fire at the target. Also have a good angle and unfortunately against the automatons, this is why usually somebody will take a arc thrower to break front line. They'll tank the shots and draw enemy fire for you, then the auto cannon person just snipes at targets like Devastator's Hawks. Very versatile weapon, but of course, to aim it properly you must be prone or you must crouch. And then the rest is just watch how I play missions. Uh, heavy armor will still get you killed because don't forget your head is normal armor, no matter what. Helmets don't have stats, so your armor increase is very low. And some people have done the armor comparisons. You can actually find the image showing you how much health damage you take. Heavy armor is not really worth it. If you want to, you can try it for yourself, but I find it to be pretty much a waste. Pelican 1, preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican 1, No, these are total randoms. I don't have any of my night crew with me. But we have just finished an operation, so I believe uh, I'll send another round of invites to see if anyone from the night crew will be hopping in with me. Otherwise, I'll carry on. Oh, wait, Yuri's here. Already here, brother. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, yo. That, was, that actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> what up, what up? Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm not taking the auto cannon roll in against bots for once. No, you can take it. Two auto cannons is not a big issue. But I mean, it's Why up to you what you want to use. I don't really mind. Are the joints? And there'll be three auto cannons. That's also okay. <laughs> Realistically speaking, the auto cannon is never bad. <laughs> it, it cannot be bad against bots because. Unlike with the Terminates, the autocannon can kill every single bot. So. Now that is what I call a profitable use of resources. Okay. Because I'm embarrassed to kick anybody, I will quit game. <laughs> and I'll come back in. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Then I'll uh, invite you in and we can go in. Uh, do, are you using the crouch equals extra recoil reduction? Yes. The engineer set is what I prefer because extra grenades uh, reduce recoil when crouching. It makes the auto cannon so accurate. So, very good. Shield backpack is a crutch. You don't really need it. Yes and no. Um, you need it if you're going to tank. So, if you're going to play the arc door and go tank a roll, please take a shield backpack or you are going to die. <laughs> please take note of that. You are going to die. <laughs> Okay, I've seen a couple of people run without the shield and then mm, spicy rocket to the face, especially at 50 meters, you can't really dodge that. So it's not that easy. Uh, ideal squad loadout, two arc cannons, two, sorry, two arc throwers, two auto cannons is pretty much GG. Either that or one arc thrower, two yeah, auto cannons, two auto cannons is the must. The and then uh, the last person Feel can be spear or I recoilers like or whatever I else they want, I don't really care. The last person is a flex, they can do whatever they want. 
Well, I mean, track hoodie. Like, those guys played well. Like, if the randos play well, I'm not going to kick them. <laughs> like, I'm not that mean. I was like, I was like, uh, never mind. I'll kick myself. I'll just leave myself, you know? I'm nice like that. 50% cooldown or reduced stratagem slot. I don't really want reduced stratagem slot. So. But one mission remains. 50% cooldown, though. Uh, I think we'll have to take reduced stratagem slots because 50% cooldown has the eradicate mission. And I'm avoiding eradicate missions like the plague. Let me see if the other one, the reduced stratagem slot. Ooh, this one's good. Blitz. Sabotage airbase. Yeah, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, we start with Blitz. Strats and Orbitals, uh, everything will be covered later tonight in the video. Um, it actually explains the two meta loadouts against automatons. And then, like I said, the, the third extra loadout can be Flex. So if you guys are interested in what my loadouts will be, video will be dropping tonight fully explaining both the two meta loadouts. I say meta, but obviously please don't force yourself or force anyone to use them, but they are the most efficient. A good arc thrower front line and a, and a good auto cannon means easy peasy. Okay, I'm gonna drop me and Yuri spicily onto the thing because we can take out a fabricator with the hell pod. All right, let's go. Since it's blitz, um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Octo cannon. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Have to do without the shield gen. orbital thrusters. All right, we got Eric Poi and Legarian. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat, hell divers to hell pods. I understand, track hoodie. That's why, like, for me, as like the if I'm the fire team leader, I'll control the kicks. I, I try not to kick without a good reason. Like, unless somebody deliberately does something to me, I won't kick them. Then at the end, if like the team played well and everything, I feel so bad hitting the kick button. So I'll just leave myself and then I'll just, <laughs> I'll kick myself <laughs> and then I'll come back in. It only takes a couple of seconds anyway. Hmm. I love how Ligarian has two backpacks right there. Mm. Mm. This man a little spicy. <laughs> okay, Eric Poi, no, no uh, support weapon needed. Just go in there and be extra spicy. Help hot launch initiated. No, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not nice. I'm fair. I, when somebody does something bad, you know, no mercy. Shoot in the face, kick. But if somebody's doing something right, I'm also fair to them. So I'm fair. I have no idea what that means, but, you know, I'm going to assume it's something decent. Oh, Lord. I tried to land on thing. It didn't oh, let no. me, Yuri. I think you you're inside it. LOL. Live up to your name. Waiting for the door to open. Throwing grenade. Yeah. Like ah, okay. I couldn't wait for the door to open, so I had to do it the normal way. There's another jammer. Right there. One. Where's the jammer? Mark. Okay, I go. Okay, I go. <laughs> oh yeah, 100% track hoodie. That's why I love the autocannon so much. It's so good. Oh my god, okay, this one is the, this one is the, we cannot, uh... Yeah, we'll bleed them all in. Yep, and I've got two Devastators here, so I'll just wait for some reinforcements. One down. Okay, there's one more up there, I'm gonna start disabling. Okay, it's disabling. 
I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Okay, deactivating, deactivating. Let me see if I can do it this with the impact. Fire in the hole! Got it! Damn, that's possible. Yeah, but it's you have to angle it perfectly, it's so stupid. That's why I hate doing it with the impact. I just well, like to do it with the auto cannon. Board. But I'm hey, we're already three out of seven. Weapon. We also got Sauron's eye over there. <laughs> Damn. This is gonna be spicy. Let me grab my auto cannon and uh requesting air support. I got the terminal! Hell's on arm. Clear the area. Spicy dive. Ow. Tagging map. East. 100 meters. Requesting air support. Unleashing the most advanced weaponry. Requesting tag tag. Can I link up with you? Yep. If you want to, uh, I'm just gonna delete this detector tower, or you can go elsewhere. Like honestly, I don't mind because I, I should be quite alright. It's just a detector tower. Sending in an eagle. I'm pretty sure I can hell bomb it. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Okay, I am wrong. I am now internally set. Oh yeah, have you finished the personal order today? Oh, I'll get it soon. Alright, because it's just common samples, but if you don't need the medals, then I will ignore. Okay, help bomb armed. Dropping a pin. Northeast, 200 meters. Ooh, Enemy patrol. Northeast. This place's visibility is kind of low. Yeah, Usto 2 is a volcanic planet, so I expect that. Um, sorry, person with the Chinese name. I have no idea what you're saying, but if you just want to post up a pig emoji, that's fine. I mean, you do you, buddy. Exactly. If you're nothing without your armor, you shouldn't have it. Okay, we're clear. Ooh, spicy cannon turret. I didn't see where it came from. Oh, 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 there. If it's tracking you, I'm gonna try and go around. It's okay, I got I got it around. Damn! What a throw, buddy. No, he's still there. Can I hope the barrage will get rid of it? LOL! <laughs> the barrage got rid of you first, bro. Yep. Well, now the turret's gone, so it's all good. I'll get the samples. I feel like uh, this reminds me of the silhouette shooting. I could literally only see the automatons when the ego bomb went off. Uh, just kidding, I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you just, or you just see like Rick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so bad. But yes, Usto 2 is rough. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, base is done. Eagles are rearming. I'm gonna extract. Surely it's not as bad as that one bug that let me shot not be doing. That's okay, Mr. Putz. Like, honestly, I don't mind certain hidden mechanics, but I feel that when it's crucial to the end game war effort, it should definitely be in the game. Because at least we'll understand them and, P and players can know the war path. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle 
I, I don't think that it'll make things easier, but honest to god, a lot of Helldivers, by their very nature, are not very intelligent, so I'd really like to see yeah. certain things made clearer. I don't want the game easier, I just want they mechanics like that don't affect gameplay to be easier. Arctor is pretty good, Ted, but uh, it takes 15 shots to kill a Hulk, so normally the auto cannon guy will kill the Hulks. The Arctor guy is the frontline distraction. The Arctor's job is to get in there and make sure that uh, whatever the case is, they stop the enemies from getting to team. That's mostly their role. They're not really the main killer. They can kill a lot of horde enemies, but ultimately they're not like the you know like the be all and end all kind of thing. Just make sure you watch my video later, which explains the two builds, the autocannon build and the arc throw build, and how to use both of them. Because you need to understand how both of them are used to get the best effect. And it's best if you pair up with a friend, so that one of you runs the arc thrower, one of you runs the autocannon. Because the builds are best when both of them work together. something spicy. They're gonna eat it. Yep. It, you got the samples already? Pelican 1 preparing to depart. Okay. Launch, then I'll just grab seconds. this and I'll evac. Okay. Now this is the true evac method. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Shield Flamer can be fun against bugs, yes. Today you carved another foot in a long climb to liberty. Alright, see you later, JG. Yep. In my honest opinion, Daza, the strategy that we've got going is definitely ideal. See you later, JG. Protect team into shuttle. Not quite so sure about that, but yeah. No, shield does not protect against burning damage. Fire can go through the shield, which is funny and hilarious. So that's why the Scorcher Hulks will still go through your shield and just burn. Pretty soon there won't be any bugs <laughs> left. Just manage democracy. Auto cannon versus the railgun. The railgun is literally trashed here, and nobody likes it anymore. Um, quite frankly, the auto cannon Mission will just spot. absolutely shred every single target that the railgun can shred without time. needing to charge. So that's the advantage. It's a major advantage. You, anybody using the railgun is behind the times, man. They're, they're usually the people that say they need the shield to survive, but I'm just like, it's it's Orbit. so bad. <laughs> the auto cannon can literally open up a heavy devastator because you know it's got a shield, right? The railgun will bounce off the shield. The auto cannon will open up the shield and then you the second shot just finishes them off. It's so good. I love the auto cannon. The railgun is like you have to charge it, unsafe, risk exploding yourself, and still it won't go through the heavy devastator shield. It's that bad. So, yeah, it's a no-no for me. I'm gonna, oops, sorry. That was my bad. Go back in the hell pot. So yeah, that's uh, the honest answer, Jalen.
Okay, we're gonna drop in all spicy. We all know the drill. Sorry, that's the wrong stratagem. Where's my laser? There we are. Okay, I'm gonna go get some water and then I'll ready up. I can't get used to the EATs. They're useful, but I don't like them. Even against Terminates, I'd rather just bring a, uh, an Arc Door and another stratagem to deal with Ball Titans. EATs get on my nerves. The Railgun is not more accurate. It's in, like I said, it's much, much worse. Once you get used to the Auto Cannon, and I highly suggest that you watch the streams to see how the Auto Cannon runs, because it's so smooth and it's so good. I'm going for the furthest one. It did what? not die. What? It happens sometimes. Uh, we'll have a choice. We'll have to... We'll just have to impact grenade it. Oh, damn. Heavy death steering got me. And I'll shoot right by its head, too. Oh, well. Thanks. Right in the water. Now this is what I like. Requesting advanced weaponry. Ooh. Right in here, reposition. Yep, yep. Go ahead. I'm going to the trenches over here for cover. Can't see the target stamp. I killed some of the scout striders. Wiping out some of the other bots. Okay, next one's down here. Southwest, 300 meters. Okay, we should be clear. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go across the base. That's a tank right there. Oh my god! Yes, that is. I'll, I'll get around it. Almost there. Almost there. There it is. Oh, he's turning around. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Dude, the tank is just chilling in the water. He literally gives me. <laughs> he's a tear. First I was thinking, is there a turret in the water? Yeah, it's <laughs> spicy tank just chilling there. Is it, they're as bad as the uh, chargers that burrow, and then you just suddenly see them pop out out of the ground. It gets pretty wild. Yeah. Okay, there's a... Is there a loot here? Requesting air support. It's gonna throw in some air support. Administering freedom. Found something. Go ahead. Um, see any loot around here? You can have my supply to fill up on stims. Freedom never sleeps. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Is that a grenade box? Oh, I'm full of grenades. I thought I used one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, onward. There's a small, tiny thing there. 
Lol, <laughs> this E3 guy is trying to attach himself to my auto cannon. Find that adorable. Oh, tank of the lake, right? It was, that was the meme right there. I mean, the sniper rifle is pretty inaccurate unless you have aim assist on controller, so I don't really like the AMR. Tried to use it on PC, but the aim is too jittery for me. I absolutely dislike it, so for me, that was a no-go. But hey, if your friend is good with it, go for it. Okay, that completely missed. Love that. I'm going around to your right. First of all, that guy's done. Now, oh, damn! Who lays it that? Whoever threw the orbital laser on that needs to calm down. It was a light automaton base. Requesting orbital. Now I'm gonna orbital laser that. Orbital laser. Orbital laser strike the main base. Yeah, fair enough. Well, if he's got superior skills, then I respect that. Objective what a hacker. <laughs> yep, understood. Ooh! Dude, a tank dropped on me! Spicy, very spicy. Mm. I can't, I can't get up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Lol. Okay, ladies and gents, you saw it here first. That tank really, really did not like me. Have we already got the SSD? Alright, this guy's got it. Tracking I'll see map. you at the dropships. Yeah, nobody really takes the real gun nowadays. It's kind of useless 95% of the time. I'll be real with you about that. Like, I wish it was useful, but it's pretty much not. Yep, I'll get the radar station. My opinion on the support laser, uh, which support laser is that? You talking about the orbital laser or something else? Because orbital laser is pretty good for bots, but may not exactly be useful for other, other things. So you have to kind of be careful. Um, by the way, I removed that turret. So there will probably be a loot point over there. Throwing supply beacon. Gonna toss it at the. Sending down equipment package. See, this is why I don't like the railgun because by the time all these scout striders, right, in order to kill them with a railgun, I have to charge my shot. I don't have to charge my shot here, I just shoot and it's dead.
Oh, come on. Wait, don't arc it. Almost there. I'm gonna make it turn its tur barrel toward you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I failed on those grenades. Nobody saw nobody saw me waste four grenades, okay? Eh, I'd be okay with that, Suicool. Cool. The one that I'm carrying, the laser support weapon, the orbital laser. Okay, this one I like it a lot because uh, I find it very useful. Um, but against bots. Go ahead, go for the funny rock. I will head uh, toward the nearest loot point. The orbital laser is especially good on objectives like this because you can just throw it in the laser, it'll take care of the objective for you, and then all you focus on is just clearing everything else, so it's really good. Okay. Well, huh? Understood. Hulk down. As you can see, the auto cannon can deal with hulks as well, so it's really, really good. Okay. I'm gonna go loot some of these areas, and I'll see you guys there. Just in case the super credits. Yeah, the orbital laser being able to use more than three times would be a bit OP though. So I think three uses is fine. Kind of like how the mechs are limited to two. You have to decide when you want to use it, especially against the automatons. But it, it does make it really worthwhile, in my opinion. So I'm okay with that. Gonna head back there. Fire in the hole. Whoa. What did this guy do? Oh, I don't know this guy pissed off a cannon tower. I'm gonna run. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Uh, Yuri, throw me down where you are. Oh, sorry, I, I threw me back where you guys were. Oh, okay. That's fine. Stuff was over here. Lovely. Oh, there's a patrol force. Understood. Reloading. If it's already there, then I'll just blast it. Dropping a pin. Game two on 
hundred meters. Oh man, Chanel name. That that really sounds like it sucks. Unfortunately, there are some issues like that, yeah. And lol. <laughs> Chanel name was automatically timed out. Nightbot thought you posted a link. Oh uh, lord. That's so funny. You got a 5 second timeout, Chanel, and it's not my and it's not me doing it. That was the automatic bot cuz it thought you posted a link. Weapon inbound. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. <laughs> they patched it, Therian. Yes, they did. So people are using Arc Thors already. Just that if you're still experiencing crashes, uh, it may be due to VRAM problems. So what I did was I. Ooh, damn. That was spicy. Um, I swapped my VRAM settings so that. Uh, sorry, I swapped my graphics texture settings. So that it's now on medium, and that's pretty much solved all my issues. Since there is a base right over there, I will uh, go delete it. <laughs> Think of the same thing. No, it's just this thing that we started doing this morning. We all just started crawling into extraction, so <laughs> I've been keeping up the tradition. Bruh. It's the way, man. You gotta extract sneaky. What do I think is better, Zeus? Uh, ultra quality or native on the render scale? I just put, I just let that left that a default. It's left it a native. I'm pretty sure it's native. I can't even remember because I didn't even touch that setting. The only one I touched was the texture quality. And by sending it to medium, no crashes. <laughs> like, honestly, I've been using the shield for so long against the bots. Um, it, it also kind of, like, I can definitely say what a lot of, like, I can definitely echo the sentiment that a lot of people did. Um, it really, it really changed There's my perspective. I actually showed it in my video like last anything. night, Craig, so I don't know if you saw that, but my settings are very simple. Just set this thing to medium preset. Texture quality, you have to manually set it to medium because it will remain at high. 
And then that's it. Screen space, illumination, anti-aliasing off. Done. These are all you need to worry about. Preset, medium, texture quality, down to medium. Screen space, illumination, and anti-aliasing off. Mission coordinates locked. That's all it takes. And then bada bing bada boom. Your game will still look exactly like this. Engaging orbital and thrusters. it will run with no crashes. No problem, Craig. But this is why, guys, if you want to know the best settings for stuff, Orbit. please, please, please do check out most of the um, most of the videos that I post because sometimes there's a lot of extra information, especially last night's patch notes video. A lot of people didn't tune into that one, but my settings were all described in that one because I had to deal with the crashes immediately after. Yet this morning, full stream, no crashes. This evening, full stream, no crashes. Well, not the full stream yet, but you get what I mean. Yes, that's actually very true, Track Hoodie. A lot of people over-rely on the shield. Like, I constantly used to rely on the shield, and I felt like I wasn't really doing anything when I was down. Then I realized how much of a crutch it was, and exactly how much I was, like, like I said, over-reliant on it. And it just became a no-go for me. Well, I'm gonna try three clutches. Okay, go ahead. I mean, you're very skilled, so I literally have no qualms about whatever you bring. <laughs> I don't know why do I have much experience with it against uh, bots. My only, the only thing that I'll say is that it's probably not very useful because the only thing that you take out is the tank and the hulks. Or maybe like if there's a really spicy devastator that you absolutely must kill, then yeah, sure. Do I have good settings for PS5? Unfortunately, I do not own any consoles. I'm too poor for that shit. So I only own a PC. I'm not like those streamers with like all the consoles and all the PCs. So I'm pretty budget. So unfortunately, I don't know any settings for the PS5. So apologies for that. I wish I could help more. Stratagem Jammer! Come on, bots! Die! Okay, okay. Uh oh. Aha! The stratagem jam is gone, baby! That's how spicy I- Ooh, spicy rocket! <laughs> no, I'm running medium armor. I- uh, yeah, drop me next to you if you can, Yuri. Objective critical stratagem available. Things got a little too spicy right there. I didn't fix my screen. That's okay, take your time. Uh, Planet Liberation is almost done. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, Heavy Devastator is done. Spicy shot. I'm gonna stay here till my stamina recovers. Oh, oh just... damn, it got oh, me. Right here. Uh, I missed time to dive. <laughs> somebody's somebody's stuck in the T pose. It didn't let me drop in the hole. Oh crap. It's time now. <laughs> Damn. 
Lol, these guys. So wait, how did they piss off the cannon in the first place? This guy trying to laser the Hulk's head. Oh lord. Eagle air strike. Mm. What a bad timing. This time, buddy. Not this time. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm in. That's right. Oh no. Okay, I got it. Reinforcing. Orbital inbound. Dropping package. This is why, guys, don't piss off the cannon turret. If you're not in position to kill it? Yeah. Anyway, at least here there's loot, so I'm gonna quickly loot it. Okay, they did the objective. Gonna open up the crate. Now, beneath these cannon turrets, there's always a crate. Ooh, two super credits. Nice. That's toward the next war bond. I'm gonna head south. Oh, Chanel name got automatically timed out for just five seconds by Nightbot for posting a link. So, like, but it, he didn't actually post a link, he just thought he did. So, yeah. That was humorous. Damn, what happened? I got hit by Spicy Rocket, him, and then I got. Damn, spicy rockets are always bad. What's the daily? I uh, just get 10 samples, I think. I'm 95% sure that's it, so. Nobody saw me miss those auto cannon shots. Okay, this automaton outpost is destroyed. I need to go get rid of the AAs. Very easy, JW. Are you stuck with the Hulk? Okay, hold on. Where are you? Requesting objective yeah, the, the other guy just ditched me. Oh, damn. Okay, sorry, I'm at a different part of the map. I'm actually at the objective. Okay. Uh, He's just continuing. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the AA first, though. Requesting orbital. I can't do anything here. There, eagles back. Okay, coming towards you now. Damn. No, no, I swear. I swear. I'm I'll head up to roughly where you died anyway. She wait. 
There's a side objective. Hold on. Calling in a hell bomb. You want me to just call you in down here? Gotcha. Reinforcing. Reloading. You are in range of enemy artillery. Oh my! My favorite warning. <laughs> I got blown up. Calling in reinforcements. Okay. Good to know. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Thanks, bud. Joining the friend. Warning, you are in range Did of enemy artillery. Did you get a bomb? No. I only planted it, then the artillery uh, was extra spicy with me. All the new auto cannon. Not quite sure why these guys didn't place in the SSD, but I'll handle it here. They call me back at this location, and it's not even done. So. Uh, randoms are a little bit wild. I know they did warn that I was in range of enemy artillery. I understand. I'm heading there. Oh, barrage. Did the barrage work? We are no longer in range of enemy artillery. I saw Arcane get on as well, so hopefully we can get rid of one of these randos after this operation. Yes. Oh, you're there. All you spooky people hanging out in my voice. Hi. I think I said something earlier. Uh, must not have heard it. <clears throat> but yes, good morning, buddy. Let's... Good morning. Uh, Yuri, do you need me? Because I'm going to the next objective. No, just go ahead. Okay. This is not a place that I should be, but whatever. I'm going to leave this devastator first. That rocket isn't spicy enough for me. Don't like. I'm not gonna mind leaks if they if they exist, but I'm also not going to like. I usually don't pay too much attention to them. Reason being that a lot of the time when it comes to leaks, right? Um, sometimes they don't come into game for quite some time, so I tend to wait. And also, I've had some experiences with. Uh, I fix my hair first while I say this. I've had some experiences in other games whereby a lot of stuff was leaked, promised data mined and all that kind of stuff and then uh, never happened why because they decided to go in a totally different direction so I tend not to pay too, too much attention to leaks like I think they're cool and like I think that uh, ultimately they will be pretty awesome when we finally get everything but um, I take them with a grain of salt but yeah I've seen some of the leaks like the Gatling gun and the new Mac with all four auto cannons that did look pretty spicy um, oh, let's take a look at this Two funny rocks in the same place. What? Okay, coming. Dagging location. LOL! What are the chances? Eh? LOL, double the location. I like it. Dagging location. Dagging location. Did, did we get like triple the super samples? <laughs> Ah, beautiful. I like that. What an appropriate reward. Helldiver style. You see two special rocks? You get nothing! What the? Yo. Ooh, 
that Hulk obliterator. I shot its face multiple times. It didn't die. Interesting. I wonder if that one has a slightly different armor value. Genuinely wonder. Hope he throws me oh, on it. There is that. Oh, wait, there is. It was just blended in this in the scorch background. Oh come on! He could have thrown me on it. Ah, this is pretty bad. Sorry, we're gonna need you at the objective. The uh, when you can. There's a Hulk obliterator here. I think it's a uh, it's different from the Hulk bruiser. I just realized. No! Ah, oh, damn it. He just barraged. Yeah. Protest about being thrown onto a Hulk is a coward. Alright, so I'm pretty sure most people aren't cowards, so make sure you always throw your fellow Helldiver onto the Hulk. Tank, Hulk, whatever, throw them onto it. Don't, don't pussy out. Oh, no! I wasn't expecting that. Damn it. What a shame. So what comment was one expensive bonfire? Yeah, I know, right? Point me to the enemy. Yep. This is why sometimes, a lot of the time, like newbies, they pick up very, very bad habits from other hell divers. Like, oh, don't throw me onto the thing. No. Once you, once a person dies, you're a stratagem. You're not a hell diver anymore. Always, always throw somebody onto the Hulk, tank, whatever. I don't care how experienced or inexperienced they are. They're a stratagem. The Hellpot can kill all that stuff. Do it. So, yeah. I really... The one thing I really cannot stand is when people don't know these tactics and they, like, try and throw you to a safe location. It's a waste of manpower. And it's literally a waste of time as well. If it's Marvel's Hulk, throw, throw, throw you onto him as well. I'm sure a Hellpot could squish the Hulk. I mean, it's coming in from orbit. You've basically got the same momentum as, like, some kind of... Uh, you basically got the same momentum as like a railgun practically. So it should be fine. I recall the only one it doesn't work on is the tank. Makes sense, yeah. The tank is weird. Yeah, that's you though, Track. You actually understand how to play the damn game. Calling in an eagle, brother. Your throw distance is not that far. Oh well, at least he got some of them. Okay. Where's the bot drop? I'm gonna hit the thing first. I dropped somewhere. Oh, okay, it's around the back of the base. Ooh, that was nice. Absolutely, man. Like I said, I would like that feeling is the whole reason why people should do it. Dropping a pin. Eat far. This is why you gotta get used to the feeling of being thrown onto targets. It's very normal. When the crossbow comes out, would I try it? I'll try all weapons, because ultimately, you know, you do have to check out, like as a content creator, I'll always check out what weapons do what. The spear needs to be improved, the auto-aim is ridiculous, if it's 
ridiculous good or ridiculous bad. There's a big difference. As far as I can tell, most people struggle with the spear lock-on. So it's not really very popular as a weapon. Understandably so, of course. Yellow glowing thing heading over there. Yeah, if the lock on for the spear was good, then yes. Found something. I think most of the complaints are just about the lock on, but I mean, some people are very good with it, but some people are not so good with it. I don't know. I've seen a good couple of people use it really well. I somehow got six kills from that. Must Diesel have been a patrol there. Be back shortly. Hey, Strive. Drone supply beacon. Deploying equipment oh, package. Drone beacon. Requesting advanced weaponry. Calling in extraction. Extraction request confirmed. Robbing down the support weapon. weapon. There's a Hulk on its way toward us. Damn, I gotta try against the Hulk Obliterator again next time. I literally saw my auto cannon shells bouncing from its head. ETA, T minus one minute, 30 seconds. This one on a rare one probably. Yeah, it's the same as the uh, Charger Behemoth. But the Charger Behemoth has no difference in its, uh, it only has slightly more health, so that's about it. It's got no other major difference, so... I just found it interesting that the Obliterator had like a different armor value. Oh no. Okay, stealing Yuri samples. Yeah! Oh my face! <laughs> Oh, well, hello there. Those spicy boys are staring at me. Time to make it off the planet. New man. How do you wonder? <laughs> Countdown initiated. 
Stand by for takeoff. All right, good job, L4. Ligarian. Today you carved another foot in a long climb to liberty. Good job. Now we got Arcane. The laser is good for high difficulties because every time a dropship comes in, it drops two tanks. Yeah. The laser, I, I like the laser on bots. I don't really use it against the terminates, but definitely against bots, 100%. Second, got to get that thing. Is it finished? Please tell me it's finished. Because it's showing full liberation right there. Casualty missions implies the existence of low casualty missions. <laughs> the existence of high casualty missions implies the existence of low casualty missions. Okay. Okay. I'll keep the lower level. Has left squadron. Bye, Eric. Arcane, your position is here. Usto 2 is totally liberated. Now we can head to Vandalon. No more of that crappy planet. Woo. Okay, let me check Operation Level 8. Effects. Wow! Impossible level missions Allied destroyer are ass. has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Hmm. On a scale of 1 to this is terrible. This is pretty terrible. Orbit synchronized. Damn. <laughs> okay, I want to try one hell dive. Let's see, one less stratagem, fifty percent cooldown. We can make it. Yeah, I don't want to eradicate. Okay. This operation is complete. Let's. You have served Command democracy well. Emergency evacuation. Okay, doable. Initiating FTL. Oh no. The Vandalon system. Command bunkers on difficulty nine. Ah, that's three. We can't go cheap. Uh. Okay. FTL jump. Successful. You ready, Arcane? Help yeah, I'm just changing my armor. Okay. Mission coordinates locked. It's gonna be a hell dive, and we are gonna die. Okay, which bunker should we drop on? Here? Yeah, that makes sense. What about here? Arcane, pick your vote. Which what bunker do we here? drop on? Right here? one. Right one? What about here? Looks spicy, okay. Here? Okay, everybody, you know the drill. <laughs> 500 kilogram bombs. Orbital Lazors. Bring your auto cannon. 50% cooldown. We drop onto the bunker. We run like hell. Uh, let me change that. <laughs> this man going in with no shield. Are you very sure? <laughs> Okay, my spicy fellows. Hell pods won't kill the Fine. command bunkers, but 500 kilogram Fine. bomb will. <laughs> so get ready to bomb and go. I think it's gonna be amusing to see how this level 25 does on a hell dive. about to have a real spicy time. Come on, let me steer. Oh my god. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let them. Requesting air support. 
Okay, dropping directly on it. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Ooh. That's a spicy rocket. <laughs> I'm throwing you guys all outside of the base, okay? Yep. We're gonna run. Like hell. Welcome to liberation, baby. What is uh, the automaton loadout? Usually one person arc door, one person auto cannon, one person spicy, and the other person chili buddy. But no. Um, in general, two arc throwers, two auto cannons is usually the safest, but um, to be honest, two auto cannons, one arc door, and the third person can do whatever they want. That's usually our style, usually. Um, okay, I'm gonna clear that fabricator because that is our home. Hopefully it'll cool down by the time I get to the command bunker. Okay, I'm gonna go around to the west side and go north. Then I'll hit that command bunker. Since this is a hell dive, I'll try and focus only on the main stuff. I'll wait for you guys before engaging the command bunker. Meeting up with my squad now. I see. Avoid that patrol. Good. Okay. Can anyone nail the... Uh... Well, for all of this Xavier will actually be covered in a video after the stream. So make sure to check out that video when it drops. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Notifications are set to all. You won't miss that video. Can anyone land the uh, 500 on the bunker? I'm going to try a laser too. Damn. Oh! Oh my god, it worked! Nice. So the laser can kill it. Oh, great. Okay, great. We can, we can literally just run for the last one and laser it. Okay, that's actually really good. I didn't know the laser could kill it. That's spicy. Yep. I'll grab the samples along the way. Glowing yellow thing to the right of that as well. So. Marking location. Southwest. But yeah, as for primary weapons, I discuss all of them in the video later tonight. So if you're interested in our loadouts, they're all covered in a video that will drop right after the stream. Bots, southeast. Wear that cannon turret. I'm going to go around behind it and shoot it. Found something. Rare sample acquired. Yeah, Arcane, could you go to the right and go to the yellow thing? There. Tagging location. I West. will. Actually, I'll come with you anyway because I gotta <laughs> get a good angle. I'll come with you for a little while. Okay, that's perfect. Hopefully, they don't hear me. Okay, it's done. Now they have turned towards the sound of gunfire. I'm gonna go around, then go back <laughs> for that loot. Ooh. What you do over there, buddy? <laughs> mm, Touching UXOs. Just the uh, yelp. <clears throat> oh, that was quick. Yeah, it's hell dive. I expected it, but don't worry about it. All we gotta do is just annihilate the bot drop when it comes in. Here they come. Well, ain't that spicy? Oh damn, I would have used it on the other. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That was so okay. funny. That was okay. a crazy that was a crazy avalanche. Lol. That's pretty cool. I 
I cannot see any yeah, targets. This is loser. Ready to liberate. I think it's locked in what? on you. Hold on, I'm gonna go around behind you. Damn it! No. You're getting the grenades. You're getting all. The no, don't climb up there. Reloading. <laughs> what is this tank doing? Damn. If you can, uh, can you something? Ooh, damn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fighting against that. Uh, Hulk. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Alright, screw this. Yep. Arcane, just throw in the reinforcement right there. It's okay, we'll land on the stuff. Trust us. Oh my god, I'm just oh, yeah, they're still asleep. <clears throat> oh, everything's dead. Nice. Good. Yeah. Me and Yuri came in after the fact. Good job. Now, where is my stoof? Ah, those are the samples, yes. Thank you, you found my auto cannon. Backpack, yours is there. Medals on behalf of the uh, little guy. Map. Two minutes till my orbital laser comes up. There's a point of interest here, and then radar tower, yeah? Bot drop detected on him. I think it's on our distraction. Engaging terminal. Okay, raising the radar tower. Wouldn't it be cool if the ICBM that someone else launched landed on your map. It'd be I, I would wouldn't deny that if it was like a like a random chance, you know, <clears throat> like um, somebody launches an ICBM and then it lands on on your map to like support you. Like that'd be pretty cool. I agree with that. <laughs> Who said that? Okay, seven o'clock. Did you Arcane. say he said that? Seven o'clock. Seven oh. o'clock. <laughs> and Sorry. yes, I, I said, who said that? Because the I agree with that sounded so different. I'm pretty sure it's Arcane. I agree with that. Yep. So it was Arcane after all, being all weird. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it would. I'm gonna get rid of all these spicy bot boys. Okay, these clankers are gone. You know what? Out of my way, Kate. Fire in the hole. There we go, fabricator oh. shut down. Dang it. Sending in an eagle. Sending in the eagle. Sending in the eagle. You have been a no it's over. Out. Okay, we're good. No, 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 no. You want to use the Basilisk tank, lol. Yeah, if we had something like that, that would be pretty cool, not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind a Basilisk. I need a Basilisk with some nice Earthshake rounds.
You'll see if there's any loot locations that I can grab. Remove this minefield. Okay, do you need to grab your stuff? You may proceed to extraction when ready. Remove the samples. Got a sample! You get my stuff. Rare sample Hashtag required. Said. Get your stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not abandoning you. <laughs> I'll just loot while uh, you guys grab whatever you need. Then I'll hit extraction, so you guys got plenty of time. Tagging map. Northwest. 50 meters. Oh my god, they there were players that actually legit ran only basilisks oh. in their Imperial Guard army. What? Oh my gosh. I'm out. No. <laughs> you good. Do your best. No. No, Yuri. Hey, save him. Save my boy. Reinforcing. You got two holes. Are you guys gonna be okay? Maybe you should run. There's two hawks. Damn. Uh, by the way, all the loot areas Requesting have nothing. Strike. They're just graveyards. Some other crap. Nice. Yeah, just some dude's graveyard. Oh my god, break action shotgun. Get away from me. Get the hell away from me. I touched it. I'm gonna have to oh, rinse my hands. Oh, uh... that's uh, a. Uh, wow. Remained. I found a gigantic formation of bots just all clustered in one corner, and uh, I sent sent one guy into the stratosphere. This is this is a clip on TikTok. Okay. Extraction is available. Throw grenade. I think all the bot patrols got stuck. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Yeah, all the bot patrols got stuck on this one rock and didn't move past it. So that was a thing. There's my clip for TikTok. Oh, well, you're spotted. Say hello to democracy. I think there's a loot area here. Ah! Ooh, I'm dead. Damn. Throw me in the general direction of extraction. I think that fell in the water. That's okay. There was just a spicy devastator, like, literally <laughs> hanging out there. It'd be funny if you, like, threw yeah, me in, in the lake and then I, like, dropped in. Ooh, there's a patrol over there. Be careful. Go hit northwards. Ah, how you like that, devastator? Democracy has landed! Uh, requisition and medals. No, we lost our newbie. Oh. <clears throat> My laser failed. When did this patrol come up here? Damn. Requesting air support. Requesting advanced weaponry. Okay, come on, 500 kilogram bomb, I'm counting on you. Like That's it. And of course, the Hulk and the Devastator survived that. Why wouldn't they? Enemy elite, east, 100 meters. Okay, nailed that in the face. And this bot's just chilling here, staring at me. Die, you peace loving hippie. Okay. 
I thought oh. thing close Thank to you. you. I just realized I just came out of my hole in the ground where I was chilling and uh, <laughs> saw <something>. Tang <laughs> there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, doing good, Alfonsi. That does sound pretty funny, Solrana. There's a patrol coming in from the enemy patrol. We're set. You probably have to fight it. Going prone. Nope. I mean, nope. Kill them all. Can't avoid co oh no! Damn! Kill Barcane! <laughs> Me? Yeah, it's okay. It was the arc zap accident. Can I land on their ship? Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. the ship landed on me! Uh, hmm. Throw everything. I am right now under the ship. I cannot assist you guys until the ship goes away. What? How did that not kill that tank? What the hell? I am not sure, but. It... Yeah. I found. Dude, that. Um... <laughs> um... I wish you could have seen that from my perspective. The tank just rolled over me and I died. Okay, where's the tank? Where's the tank? There it is. I'm here. Get on, get on, get on. Okay. For me again. Calling in reinforcement. Absolutely. Um, just Throw give me a moment. All the grenades. Yep, that one's gone. That's not the right tank. Fire in the hole. Oh, that other tank's stuck. I have no more grenades. Jesus. I I'm just gonna somewhere. teleport it across the map. Lovely. What? There we are. There we are. Okay, new auto cannon. Calling down a support weapon. Oh. Can anyone help me, Scout Strider? They wouldn't mind. Oh, that's a hole. Okay, never mind. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. Thanks for distracting them for a sec, Yuri. Got it. Lovely. Okay, I see home. Yep. Keep Almost moving in that direction. I'll shoot. I'll shoot them as we go. They're actually kind of just standing there. Well, I mean, it is a hell dive, so realistically Dropping speaking. Package. I've got the package. Dropping package. Okay, hopefully L4 gets the message. Calling in extraction. Did you not finish his uh, thing? Oh, uh, he's hitting me. Okay. I thought he was gonna finish it and come, but okay, that's fine. I'm also okay with this. Say hello to democracy. There's a 
very spicy UXO that we can detonate at some point. Probably when our guy is clear. I think they all got stuck on that one mountain where I found them all. Yeah, they're trying to come over this mountain. So I'm pretty sure they're all stuck in that one corner. Kane, are you shining a torchlight at me? Look at all the blood on my uniform. Where did all this blood come from? <laughs> Yourself. That can't be, I'm a clone. <laughs> I would come in fresh and clean. So what this means is that automaton, which actually is kind of the case because for those that don't know, they are cyborgs. So they're, we're actually killing people. In case you guys were not aware. Okay, let's go. Pelican 1 preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. <laughs> Extraction complete. Uh, Arcane, Pelican you gotta you gotta use the Yuru trick later. He goes in backwards, okay? Now that is dope. Next round. I think that's what I was doing Victory yesterday. Was yeah, you gotta down. crawl in backwards. <laughs> Xenocore, it's hydraulic fluid. You sure about that? You very sure about that? I don't know, looks like blood to me. <laughs> blood and oil. But do you know why it's not a problem? It's because, Xenocore, that is not real blood. It's not the blood of patriots and heroes. No, that is the blood of hippies. Do you, do you remember their weak message from Malevolent Creek? They said that they just want to go to Cyberstan to rebuild what they lost. And you know what will happen? Nothing. They're going to they're gonna let us go. See, that's hippie talk. And that's why they're going to lose this war. Because we're not hippies. We're going to bomb them into the Stone Age. <laughs> See their command bunkers? Chip chop. Easy. Next, uh, we'll probably target their fabricators. Welcome back. Democracy's <laughs> reach extends a bit further thanks to you. They don't have anything else. <laughs> How's the democracy looking? We're on to the second planet, Wizard King, so we're now taking uh, Vandalon 4. It's an ice planet. Mission Pretty standard stuff. Um, not too difficult. We're on a hell dive right now, just for shits and giggles. Aircraft weapons mechanic? That's really nice. My, my younger brother is in the Air Force right now. Unfortunately, I was just <laughs> I was just a normal soldier. Nothing, nothing too special. I finished up as a corporal. Um, okay, fabricators, eagle airstrike, orbital laser, auto cannon, hot drop. Yeah, let's go. But yeah, funnily enough, my my younger brother is Air Force as well. I think he's doing. I think he's in weapons. I can't remember what weapon he's in charge of, but he's in charge of one of the weapons. He's in a particular weapon stream. Or so I know. That's as, that's as much as I know, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go adjust the attitude of these automatons. I see a fabricator, and that thing is doomed. Hell yeah. This is it. I got this two of them. Ooh. Ooh, there are, oh, there, yeah, are, there, are there are multiple hulks that's right there. Hulk. Yeah, so... Whoa. Orbital inbound. Here's an orbital strike, Mr. Hulk. Ah. Oh, you guys are dead. Well, let me throw you guys onto the hulks. Yes, laser. Go. Move slowly and menacingly toward that hulk. Laser! Damn! 
shit. <clears throat> ah, got the Hulk. Oh, there's another one. Oh my. Got it. What the? What the hell? What the hell? Gotta reload, gotta reload. Are you able to get these other divers to follow directions of the ground fight, or do you just shout incoming and get them to move? Um, to be honest, I do, like, if I'm on voice with my pals, I'll just tell them what I'm doing, but otherwise I try to ping. So, I just try to use pings, stuff like that, but, I mean, obviously, <laughs> no system is perfect, so you can try. I mean, there's voice comms, so I just usually tell them what's coming. I just tell them eagle, this, that, the other, like, whatever's coming their way. Moving to next location, by the way. Oh no, my YouTube malfunctioned. There's a patrol, it hasn't noticed us yet, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Oh, they're looking oh, at me. Shit. And to. Requesting orbital. And to shoot that patrol. Uh, where are you on the pause? Uh, where you want us to follow you? No, no, just go to the next fabricator. It's okay. Are you dead, Arcane? Yeah, I wish this guy would call me in. Oh, I'll call you in here. There's an arc door right here. I killed the Hulk already. I just need to whoo, kill the Devastators. Just give me a moment. Where? Uh, it's right in front of me, in front of these Devastators. I'm just gonna get rid of them first. Oh, Yuri, no. Uh. Going to you in the general direction. Oh, you're on Yuri's side. Okay, because there's Narco here on my side. Yeah, this, okay. is, this is where I landed. Yeah, that's okay, no worries. That's perfectly fine. Oh, I didn't realize. It's already done. Okay. I'll just meet up with you guys and we can get out of here. It's to L4. No. Oh, that is a lot of bot drops. Uh, shit. Better book it. Oh, crap. Nice. That was a great kill. The AC is always good, that's for sure. Okay, I killed the Hulk. There's two Devastators down here. What they missed? That sounds like something that can happen. Reloading. Always gets wild when stuff misses. And for like no apparent reason. That's the worst. Okay, there's a patrol up there. A void patrol. I'm gonna run down the valley. I think I just heard one of those bots say you cannot escape. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I swear I heard that. Oh, come on! Damn it! Calling in reinforcements. 
I thought I stimmed. Just throw me in the direction of the extract. Then you can. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. That was the perfect throw. Gonna get rid of those things on the hill. Okay, rocket devastators are done. Go to call in. I don't think that's the marksman rifle. I'm pretty sure that's the jar five that he's using. I don't think a lot of people use the marksman rifle. I'm quite certain that's the jar five. Uh, Yuri, is that the jar five on you? This is Scorcher. Oh, he's using the Scorcher. Is there anyone using a marksman rifle? I don't think so. Unless it's uh, L4. He could be. Spice Girls are coming in. There's a ton of rocket devs. Yep. Yeah. The pink one. Pelican one arriving at orbit. I got one. This is Pelican one preparing for touchdown. Not today. Okay. Everybody okay? Nope. <laughs> no, he died! No! <laughs> Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. <laughs> My samples. As if you need them. But, yes. It is a shame. It's a shame you couldn't crawl on board like the rest of us. I got blasted. I know. <laughs> I don't know how somebody else didn't die with me. This was a rocket. I'm just, we're just better at crawling than you. <laughs> we're just great at crawling. With that super soldier crawl. I'm actually excited to see what, uh, the, imp what the impact will be when uh, we finish the hell dive. There's only one left. You're sad that there's no Your commander title? I'm sure, like, look, when they increase the level cap, I'm sure there'll be some more titles. One of them could be commander. Manage democracy calls. Last one, fam. And then we clear to hell dive. Hell yeah. I actually have one more left. I should mine one. Oh, nice. What do you need for it? Uh, rare? Okay. Um, let me double check. Should be just rare.
Yes, just rare. I know, but I want to be a Skull Commander, Xenocore. I want Commander titles. They sound cool. What about here? Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm, mm. Stretching. Ah, feels good. Okay. Power dropping as usual. Eagle, laser, oh, auto. Not what I wanted. Something in this environment or atmosphere, I literally cannot steer my ult on. Ooh, spicy rockets. Throw me down. Yeah, throw me onto the mortar area. I'm gonna give him a taste of my mind. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. This is the mortar area, right? Yes. Happy days. All right, come on, dance. Oh, what the? Killed by burning. Okay, at that point, this is just is sad. Damn, blown up four times right at the start. Okay, good enough. I'll head back now. Yeah, nothing wrong with uh, prestige style titles. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, that was a lovely spicy drop. Engaging terminal. Okay, I'm doing the terminal. <laughs> SSD, okay, Yuri's got it. I got the terminal. Terminal. Okay, signal is calibrated. I got the terminal. And it's clear. Alright, off we go. I am for the most part gonna ignore that large automaton base. Don't bleed out, don't bleed out. Good, the bunker? Okay. Yes, bunker cleared. 
Yep, there's gonna be a Hulk and a Rocket Devastator. I don't know if they're still chasing. Hopefully not. There's a UXO and an Arc Thor in the same location. Okay, there's the Hulk right there. Careful of the flowers. Ooh. Chef for the one shot tower. Oh, damn. Oh, I think it's targeted. It could, it should be targeting Arcane. Orbital nope. inbound. Sending the laser. I can have it target me though. No, it's okay. I should be able to get it. Yep, it's done. Oh, it did. You can now safely claim that uh, yellow thing down there. It should just take out the base. Yep, base done. Okay. Oh, someone needs to reinforce uh, L4. Oh, I've sent him in. Assisting Yuri. To where Arcane is. Request approved. Deploy Shit. reinforcements. There are a spicy amount of rocket devastators right below you, buddy. I know. Reloaded. Thankfully I've got the high ground. Okay, clear. I'm gonna slide down the hill. Whee. That's some wild. Okay. Let's see you guys at the objective after I grab some ammo from this uh, area. I know there'll be plenty of spare ammo here. Okay, on my way. Whew. Thank you for all the likes on stream. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the show and all the spicy rockets that we eat. Sometimes it's a little bit of a ghost pepper. Sometimes it's a bit of chili padi. Asians will know. Jump down there. I'm gonna take care of these package units here. <laughs> Careful, Arcane. Don't be murdering me now. Okay, Yuri's got Just the terminal. Just a little shock. Uh, there's more over there. Murder. Once Yuri clears, we can go here. Tagging map. Southeast. 300 meters. Oh. Sorry, but I didn't know that uh, you still hadn't gotten the SSD in. Alright, coming. Is there no way for me to get into this base? Other than going around. Got a sample! Rare sample acquired! Yes. What is wrong with this base? <laughs> Lol. Gigantic ditch. Engaging terminal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go, fam. Follow Yuri to victory. Oh. Okay. Taking care of the Devastators. 
One left. No. Well, I prioritize the Devastators first. Hulkamania, I leave that to you. There we go. Or Yuri. One shot to the face. Mm. That was solid. Patrol to our right. Enemy patrol. Uh, can we evade? I think we can. Or do we have to go across the lake? Damn it, I think we have to go across the lake. Mm, yep. Okay. Oh, I guess we're fighting. Oh no. Oh. Our newbie left. Oh well. Requesting air support. What a shame. Coming in hot. Is that is that Hulk speed running toward me? What? Is he speed Why running toward me right now? Running? Why is he speed running? I don't know! I don't oh know! This God. is scary! This is scary! Oh. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> quick, quick. What the hell? <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> Did we all get disconnected? Allied destroyer leaving squadron. No. Not yet. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll just wait for you to come back. Well, we can call him in when he's back, but damn. Oh okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I that that's Hulk. new. Yeah. <laughs> that Hulk was <laughs> hacking so hard. <laughs> what? Dude, he starts sprinting. He was legit on overdrive. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a clip of that, because that was funny as frick. <laughs> <laughs> I have never oh, seen that God. before. That was that was grand. That was absolutely grand. That is beyond legendary, Bye. my dude. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's just some Hulk that put on the speed and just starts sprinting toward us. He was ready to go in for the kill. Damn. <laughs> there must be a war eater inside here. <laughs> One hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent. Whichever, whichever guy they use for that is definitely a world eater. Hey, Buddha just joined our mission. Buddha ZX7064. Wow. Okay, there is another Hulk in there, but <laughs> oh. we should prepare nope. accordingly Allied for sprinting. Nope. Squadron, deploying sending in an eagle. Yep, sending in my eagle. Where the heck did my laser go? into the water apparently. Oh, why did he spot me? I don't know. Your stuff is all back here, by the way. You still want it back. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I got you over here next year. It's okay, fam. Buddha's got us. Go. Yuri, did you come get your stuff? Yeah. All right, up here. All right, thanks. Okay, no more speed hulks. That's good. That's good. There is, however, a patrol <laughs> over there. And I think it spotted me, so I'm gonna run. And if they yeah, start spotting, no, spotting you, you, okay. I'm positioning. I'm positioning. We're gonna have to. Yeah. Okay. Start adjusting their attitude. I'm trying to position where you're not strafing, so I don't annihilate you. Okay. Just a few stragglers remaining, I'm gonna move up. This planet's uh, just like every other snow planet, buddy. Just another frozen ball of ice and... Oh, no. Sorry, they called it. But yeah, just another frozen planet, bud. Drop ship. Oh, well, there's one at least. <laughs> Spicy Hulk. It's down. Is that an obliterator? Okay, no, it's dead. Phew. Ah! 
Rocket Boys down. Just more Rocket Boys, unfortunately. Yep. Requesting air support. Coming around the other side. I'm almost out of auto cannon ammo. My apologies, I've exploded. Sorry for that. The dude used the Hulk's corpse as a platform. That's pretty legendary. Okay, moving up, moving up. Okay, we gotta clear. Devastator out there. Never mind. Okay. I got the terminal. Opening the bay doors, E4. You suck my battleship. Okay, here we go. Tagging map, west, far. Supplies coming in as well. Go, 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 who means? And Peter, that would be pretty OP. And I think, uh, I think many people would die if arc weapons had a small chance to stun or put somebody, like, put a bot into overdrive. That'd be pretty crazy. That's a tank, I think. Oh, death status. Ooh, spicy rocket to the face. I have no control, damn. Get lasered and we'll die. Reloading. Never die. Okay, just gotta get the last of the hell divers through. Uh, sorry, citizens through. Two more button presses and we got this. My friend. Okay, last batch. Send him in. Hell divers came for us. Sweet. Dropping a pin. West. Far. Reloading. Yep. Extract when ready. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay. Half oh. reinforcement budget remaining. What happened to you? I wish I could record at that. How do I You can, you literally have OBS. I know, but it just wasn't open. What what actually happened though? I'm curious now. I touched a bot, and I just got launched like a hundred feet in the air backwards. 
Oh, that, that happens with the Ball Titan's limb. I know. There's a. Uh, there's some kind of weird bug with like the dead stuff. It was dead already, right? Yes. Okay, I got you some rare samples. But yes, that also happens with the ball. It happens to BVS with the ball Titan limbs and the Charger corpse. There's potential for that to happen. I've been launched up straight in the air by touching a tank or whatever. And it seems to be something to do with the physics engine, but it's just really weird. So that is how you died. Got impacted straight Damn. away. I will always have OBS open from now on. For those moments. I I just. I mean, it was the farthest long, the farthest I've ever flown, or seen. At 20 minutes remaining. Lol. That's pretty wild. Damn it. That's okay. We will forever have the recording of the Hulk freaking sprinting toward us. Calling in extraction. That is so going on TikTok tonight. Okay. Now, if only there were bug spores in this map so I don't have to deal with less stratagem slots. Ooh. We once got pinned by a charger corpse. We nor we normally get pinned by ball titan corpses. There's one coming in southeast. Throw back bot grenades, by the way, if anyone doesn't know that in the uh, chat. Got one. I'm gonna run around a bit. Oh damn! Oh man! <laughs> that got pretty spicy pretty quickly. It's okay. Well, that's gonna abort. Yeah, that'll happen. Right behind you, quite literally. Not today. Okay. As far as I saw, there was a tank vent somewhere near extraction, so uh, just be cautious. I'm gonna go get my samples and my stuff and we'll call it in again. here if you need him. Southeast. Southeast, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go up to where Buddha is. 
Uh oh. There's a cannon turret and it's spacing us. One time, the cannon tower was my fault. Yes, the auto cannon can destroy fabricators, but you have to um, fire it so that it uh, it hits the flap at the top and ricochets inside the fabricator. It cannot be it cannot destroy the fabricator from the outside. Okay, Pelican one's here. Ooh, no. Okay, I'm throwing you down here. It's covering Buddha. Okay, let's go. Ooh, no, I'm not dying today. I'm not dying today. No problem, Tim. Ah, good job. That was a very nice one. Thanks for doing a hell dive with me. Last mission of the night will just be a uh, regular seven. It's just gonna be chill. Yeah, we don't leave anyone behind usually. As long as they're sticking with the team, it's all good. Squad Impact 6? After all that? Damn. Damn, I'm going back to 7th. My emotional trauma. How dare. We just destroyed a hell dive and Vandalon. Vandalon gives us a 6. Okay, for the final run, I will swap my role. So you guys have seen plenty of auto ga auto cannon uh, gameplay. Uh, I'm just gonna swap my role over to Arkthor. So Arkthor plays a bit differently. You use a slightly different armor. I talk about this in my video. Again, the video will be dropping after stream. But there's a variety of stuff you can do. You can go Exterminator, you can go Hero of the Federation. I'll do the Hero of the Federation version. Uh, works just fine. I'll keep my cape though, because it's spicy. Now, the enemy has launched a cowardly attack against one of our planets. Will you defend it? Will I defend it? Hell no. It can defend itself. Um, let's see. What are our options? Yeah, let's go for call in time 100%. Let us continue. Uh, first our one progress. is a command bunker, then we'll just Oh, it comes with an eradicate. Uh Okay, eradicate first. Mission Get the annoying mission off. out of the way. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. I have no idea what this base looks like, but I'm gonna sit at the edge. Orbit um, synchronized. And probably just EMS mortar, mortar, and auto cannon. Uh, I'll do all that with an Arthur.
drop outside the base and uh, chill there. <laughs> if you're gonna go with the stratagems, then Yuri will probably drop in the base. Why no EMS Morta? Eh, not that great. I'll be very frank with you, it's not that great. You get better results from just all offensive. Full offensive, full assault. That's why I keen Shibe. I don't find it as useful as many people would think. Now, where's the edge of the base? This looks Let like the edge of the base. Oh, the 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 Which means the this is where I need to be. So what I usually do is I will surround myself like that with uh, turrets. Then I'll put down the mortars and whatnot. Then last but not least I hold this weapon. position so the rockets the mortar all of it should work together so I'm literally at the very edge of the base so do be careful fam Sorry, Arcane. Oh, Boy, good. I'm just gonna surf my turret. Now, if you want to be in the same location, there's a hulk down there you can squish.
down. Thanks, Pelican One. Uh, defense. I don't find it boring to use. It actually takes quite a bit of tactics. Go, Arcane, go. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction. All right. Pelican One beginning ascent. That was actually fast. Yeah, I think we've got time for the command bunker as well. Well, true. Then you can play the auto cannon. It's really good. Especially against automatons. Oh, listen, Daza. We're always going to be crawling. That's how we do real extractions, alright? Real warriors crawl out of the extraction. Because that's how real warriors do it. Real rogues do it from behind. There's nothing sweeter than victory in the name of freedom. Okay, command bunker. Because that's nice and fast. We can never have too many heroes fighting Yeah, we might actually be able to finish this entire thing. Mission coordinates. Let's see. Hellpods Prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Oh, just right there. Yep. Orbit synchronized. Okay, you know how we do this. Eagle laser. <laughs> Nothing is being left to chance. And I can finally have my shield generator back. Oh wait, I'm playing arc. That's right. Whoops. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Nah, cool guys just cause explosions and go. I mean, why would I look at an explosion? After all, I know exactly what it's gonna do. Yeah. Deep vape right there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nah, don't be sorry. It's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm more amused than anything. I just could hear the deep, the deep vape. Arcane needs his constant, uh, Constant nicotine and force. Yep. I like the command bunker. Drop in four minutes, get out. Thanks, Lee. Did you manage to find out how to get your war bond? Because if you don't, this mission is going to be over in about like six minutes, so well, I can show you again. I hope you found the right video. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to go blow. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. I think I made it right on top of this thing. Okay, beautiful. I have all this. Bye! Okay, bye, have a great day. You have accomplished liberty. 
Extraction is this way. I'm throwing you guys down. Bye. Have a great day. Don't write. Oh, oh, oh my God! I threw you guys into minefield. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I cleared most of the mines. Okay, you're fine now. Oh my God! This one. Okay. Now where was I? All oh, right. Yes. Bye. Have a great day. Yes. But don't worry, you can farm super credits super fast if you do missions at level 1 to 3. Um, there's usually a lot of super credits in those missions between levels 1 to 3. Don't do 4 because 4 has rare samples which reduces the amount of super credits you can potentially get. Okay, so I hope you farm all your super credits or just buy for $10. Because it would really help the studio out and I think they'd be very grateful to you as well if you just bought the super credits. But I leave the choice to you. Grab this. And look, lo and behold, super credits. Oh, those are mines. Orbital inbound. Why is there a question mark in this direction? Calling in orbital strike. Yep, that's a cannon turret. And it's looking at me. Ooh, ow. I think there's a jammer or something. Damn, I can't get this bunker. There, there is a jammer, Sorry. yeah. No, it's okay. We'll uh, we'll get the cannon turret first, and then we'll get the bunker. Where's the bunker? It's over there next to me. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll I just I can't mark it right this second because I've got too much stuff on me. Yep, no worries. How about a nice cup okay, of it's done. Tea! Now... I would have been able to help if it didn't take me 10 years just to get inside that base. So I tried to get in from one of their bunker windows. Probably not the wisest decision. Extraction is available. Okay, oh, damn it. Oh, it's jammed. Where's the jammer? Okay, they're taking out the jammer. I'll, I'll go closer to you and call you in. There, reinforce. Call you in. Tank. Yep, it's okay. Yeah, so that's where the West, bunker is. Roger. <sighs> no. Okay, cleared it. Tank. Yep, going. And there's another tank. I'll let that drop on it. That went, landed right inside the tank, so if that, you know, um... <laughs> if that hadn't killed it, I would have screamed. Okay, you could get your stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll get this other yellow dot here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. It will take four minutes. We'll get the bunker and then we'll come out, come your way. Found something. Going in extraction. Yep, right here. Is there a bot drop on me? Oh dear. Well, that isn't very cash money. Uh, I'm gonna. Ooh, hey, I got a boost over to you. Aw, oh, damn. Just call me in where you are. I'll help you with the bunker and then we'll go. Ah, there's the bunker. I see it. Yeah, I'm in. Ready to liberate. Are you? Taking 
out the spicy boy. Well, guess I'm using the AMR. <laughs> this is the saddest day of my life. Let's go. Okay, our home slices are here. Time to go. Oh, hey, my stuff is here. Oh, my thing must have cleared out the hulks and whatnot. Damn. Laser is okay, but trust me, you want the auto cannon. Laser, ooh. The cutting edge is probably a better war bond to get first. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The stun grenade, I will say one thing though, I don't find it to be S tier because quite frankly for all of our missions we do way better with the impact grenades than the stun grenades. Impact grenades are in the normal war bond if I'm not wrong. Or they're in the steel veterans, I can't remember. But either way, impact grenades seem to do a lot better. That's our take on it, but yeah, it's up to you. Stun grenades are okay, but you'll find that you have a lot of trouble dealing with fabricators, a lot of the other stuff, when you take the uh, stuns. So for me, it's not as useful as I'd like it to be. Ooh, that was spicy. That was a lovely little UXO. Hell yeah. Hmm. I know, right? Free teleport. Sentry. Yeah, one guy with stun grenade is fine, but you see, the problem with randos is that, y you know, some other guys may bring it along, so this is why I don't ETA, consider the S stun grenade S tier at all. Stun grenade is a useful support, but I would consider it B tier at most, because number one, it doesn't last very long, and number two, you have to coordinate with your, with your pals. So, if somebody is using it and coordinate it, that's fine, but it's definitely not S tier. The only thing that I agree is S tier is Sickle, for sure. It's very useful against automatons, but it's less useful against terminates. So be aware of that. It's S tier against automatons, but not against terminates. Against terminates, there are far better choices, i.e. Slugger. Slugger, Scorcher, Jar 5, these are all much better choices against the terminates. And uh, the Jar 5 is found in the Steel Veterans. So just be aware that not everything works for one. Sickle is good for low level stuff. But once you start getting the high level terminate missions, it actually falls very far short compared to several of the other weapons. No, the UT it doesn't actually last that long. You can try it on the Charger and the Baltide. It's not long. It's like roughly 2 seconds. So 2 to 2.5 seconds. That's the stun duration. So if you think it's long, that's good for you, but it's actually very short. So for higher level missions, unless everybody's locked in on the target, it's not going to last long. The EMS strike lasts longer though. So, if you were going to bring along a stun, I'd rather an EMS strike than the grenades. Scorcher is good, depending on the build that you roll. I'm okay with the Scorcher. In fact, that's also covered in the video. Uh, it's one of the great options against automatons. Scorcher is definitely very good. And it's in the normal war bond, so... That one I really like. Scorcher is very, very strong. Yeah, pretty much Keen Shibe. Like, not clearing the bug holes and stuff is very annoying as well. Stun is utility, but the utility I find is so low that I don't need it. Because, quite frankly, my entire loadout will just cover everything I need. So. Okay, bye, have a great day. Let's go. <laughs> well, I mean... If you got the auto cannon guy, you Extraction can just either auto cannon it or arc door it. So that's why I stopped worrying about the, the scorcher and started using the sickle for the blue guys instead. Because I find the sickle way more accurate than the scorcher and so ammo efficient. So yeah, that's why I like it. Like, but don't get me wrong, the sickle I love it against automatons. It's so good. But I should probably also say that I tend to take a lot of independent action, so if I don't bring impact grenades, I cannot take the independent action, then I just feel like, ugh, stuck. Okay. Alright, that
That was very fast. It looks like we have enough time to finish the last op. Banking the last liberation, and then that's it. But let me say an early thank you to both of you. Thank you so much for uh, assisting me on Vandalon. And of course, Usto too. Yes. Always appreciate the crew. Shotguns! Alright, let's go. This Last mission. mission. With Buddha. Buddha ZX. He's blessing us with good luck. Allied destroyer has left squad. Buddha! Alone. You really abandoned me? Homie, damn it! I pray to you every day, <laughs> man! <or> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but for those that don't know, I'm Buddhist. <laughs> so. So it's a little bit of a Buddhist joke there. Ah, you never play with randoms? Fair enough, Felix. I mostly don't play with randoms, but even even then, I just let my friends bring in whatever, you know? So I don't really worry about synchronizing too much. Alright. Arkitroer. The usual stuff. Yeah, I'm ready. Launch Drop coming in, right? Requesting First spot drop gets a laser. Hey, tank! Take this. Ooh, spicy rock. But I got the tank, and I dropped in the laser. Tank. to the team. Oh yeah. Uh, if we synergize too much, it'll be too easy. Engaging terminal. Where are the SSD at? Oh, it was already. You just got already yourself come a super chat. Oh, yeah, the collector. Oh damn. Oh, so this is one of the. Bad missions. Always, Olivia. Always. Thank you so much for your lovely super chat. Appreciate your support this month. Me and my family will thank you. Okay. Yoink! Alright, we go to the next one. Let's go. No! Arcane crashed. <laughs> As long as it's not domino crashes, it's fine. It's fine. Dropping package. Three shots, easy. Oh, grab it. There's a question mark, just a grave. Do you have anything on you that can kill that uh, tower over there? I will leave it alone. Okay. I do not have the like the reduced recoil on this thing. That's fine. Yeah. 
Wait, I'm gonna turn the UXO. Oop. Where's he? Okay, the artillery is on this side. Yep. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Let's see it. I'll toss onto it. Calling in an eagle. Calling in an eagle. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good. Once the eagle's clear, I'll go in and smash the rest. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Beautiful. Oh, why am I slowed? How am I slowed? Oh! Walked over mine. Sorry, did you toss me in? That was very silly of me. Thanks, bud. I'm fine, Okay, no worries. Fly out here for resupplying grenades. Um, okay, everything's clear. I'll wait for the resupply drop. Arcane's also coming back. Dropping a pit. Two hundred meters. Yep, you just take your time. It's all good. Okay, supplies are here, Yuri. Take the other one as well if you need it. Okay. SSD is here. Package acquired. I'll collect the glowing yellow thing and head for the uh, drive area. Dropping package. You. Requisition. Package acquired. Nice job on the illegal broadcast. Dropping package. Drop ship. How'd you like to take freedom? Allied destroyer joining squadron and deploying Helldiver. Welcome back, Arcane. Good now. You appear to be. I'll come back. OBS and uh, Bell Divers are fighting right now. I see. I think that's why I crashed. Lol. It's time to stitch the OBS. A lot smoother now, but it's weird. Package acquired. Okay, I have this one. Okay. Grab an arcane. Alright, let's go. North. Beware of uh, cold flowers and spicy rockets. Enemies to our right, we should probably evade from them. Hey, we're spotted. Where? Right. No, they haven't spotted us yet, so... Oh, Hello, no, they have. Mola. I heard yeah. you got a new subscriber tonight. Okay, well... Whatever, we gotta run through that anyways. That's true, that's true. Dropping package. Oh. Damn. 
I am so sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just as soon as you got up. <laughs> oh lord, I can't. Point me to the enemy. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Um, do you get the package? Yeah, uh, I have one. The other one is on the ground over there. Yeah, I can't pick it up. Oh, okay. see if I can get it. Is it bugged? It's here. Down a I can't either. Okay, wait. Trapping package. Wait. And back up. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Lol. <gasps> Dude, yeah, it's bugged. Oh, damn. Okay, we have to abandon this. That's crazy. No, we will. We will get it. We How? just need to blow up the ground some it, more. It doesn't even have an interact option. No, I've got the sound bug as well. I'm trying one. Oh, damn. Oh. Sorry. No, I think it's bugged because it doesn't have an interact icon. Look. There's no interaction icon. And I've got the sound bug already. I damn suggest it. we we have to abandon and we have to do it again. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. Wait, I can't remember. Does that... Oh, it fails the operation. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. That's yeah. the close for the night. The enemy is what, a, a what a sad bug. Damn it. Planets. Oh, well. It thank you. And either way, thank you guys so much. You guys were amazing tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, that... Uh, that bug is very annoying. Okay. The Arc Thrower does have a good rate of fire CNC, but you have to be able to do the half charge thing. So I have a full tutorial on it, but um, it's not for everyone, especially it depends on whether you use controller or not. People on controller express a lot of difficulty doing it, but on mouse and keyboard, it's fairly easy. Okay, uh, I'm going to close the stream now, but what I'll say is thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys uh, learned a lot about the Arc Cannon. Now tomorrow I'll be playing pure Arc Thrower loadout, so you guys will get a chance to see more of that tomorrow. Um, the current planet is Vandalon 4, uh, so we're, we're assaulting this planet now, and then we'll be onward to Truce. We've got two days and 21 hours left to complete mission. I think we should be able to do it. Um, hopefully, you know, more people come over, because what is this? What is this? Okay. Do you see this? I want you guys to spell a word with me. T-R-E-A-S-O-N. Okay, do you know what that word means? Yeah. <laughs> okay. T-R-E-A-S-O-N Going against the major order Anyway I'll see you guys on Van Lin 4 in the morning Thank you guys so much for watching If you guys got any questions You can always leave me a comment on YouTube I always respond Alright Thank y'all very much And I'll see y'all on the next one Y'all have a good day now